I'm gonna turn the uh, intro. We can talk about that other stuff later. Mm -hmm. All right, three, two. Welcome, everyone. Hope you're having yeah. a great day. Uh, our first double nerd theory of the week. And uh, today's going to be an interesting one because it's going to be the last time we get to talk about the Mandalorian season finale. Before it, at least before it comes out. So, yeah. yeah. What up? What's going on? Dude, it's like that Christmas morning feeling, mm -hmm. you know? And we've been getting this for several weeks and, you know... Uh, 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 we're not worthy you know it's been great this yeah. season it's been it's exceeded my expectations in a lot of ways the this finale is going to be so epic but this moment right now before it i think i want to cherish i want to hold on to this i you know what i mean like so i'm very excited to talk with you my friend and and just get real sweaty about all the possibilities let's and, get sweaty and, dude and, yeah man let's get sweaty this way, I got my dog here. She's chilling. Uh, what's up, Chad? How are y'all doing? You guys ready for tomorrow? Well, Friday midnight, Friday morning. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, tomorrow in all of our minds, you know. Yeah, for me because I won't be sleeping. Um. So when it comes out, are you going to be doing a live stream as well? Yeah. So my plan currently, and by the way, I want to take just a second here to just do a quick plug. That's not Star Wars. Uh, if you like the word things that come out of my face mouth. You might enjoy the stream I'm going to be doing on Sunday for a good cause where we're teaming up with a bunch of different channels to do a Deck the Hall of Justice thing, all for charity to support uh, suicide awareness prevention. Um, and this is a big thing that the Zack Snyder fans and that the those fans have been doing for a long, long time. And we're happy to sort of join up with all these different fans on my live streaming channel this Sunday, Paul from Heavy Spoilers and myself are going to be answering and talking about all the behind the scenes spoilers leaks and crazy things that we know all for charity so come on by for the stream you do a super chat on our two hour stream and then we're going to give that our portion of that super chat to the charity that would be really cool i appreciate everybody if uh if they come over now uh back to we the should start doing start. some charities on this on this uh on this channel we absolutely should we yeah. absolutely should uh, 100%. Well, I was going to do uh, that big one with, with uh, when that company reached out to me, the, that charity organization reached out to me saying they could perhaps get George Lucas on my channel to, uh, and I made that video and I was, dude, I was so ecstatic, so excited. Haven't heard from him in like months, so. Yeah. It's, a, it's, look, it's always a weird thing with that and there's, yeah. there's things that happen behind the scenes sometimes that make it hang up uh, with like administrative stuff. But from what I look from so far, this thing has been super cool that all the people that I've talked to with this are involved. They're awesome. Uh, I think uh, some of the actors might pop up in streams later in the day. I've heard rumored mm -hmm. that Zack Snyder himself might pop up on some, but not on my stream. Unfortunately, I'm not so lucky, but on someone else's stream during that day, Zack might well pop up. Uh, and again, man, it's look, 2020 has been tough. I, I told my stream this morning more than ever in a moment like this at the end of a very difficult year uh giving money to a cause like this i think is a good move uh suicide is always a, an issue but as things get tough in the world it becomes more of an issue so save some bucks you know what i mean if you're gonna maybe super chat uh me you know tomorrow maybe don't save it for sunday or something like that uh i really believe in the cause yeah don't don't send it here today uh go to josh's yeah. stream on sunday and just yeah help out i guess um yeah, and that's nice. on the the den of nerds your channel the den of nerds live yeah den our live, live streaming channel cool mm -hmm. we'll tweet about it we'll put it on the discord we'll do all of that so yeah. cool so man season finale yes. yes have you heard anything about this being a longer episode what if, what if it's like 30 minutes long Okay, so That'd that is a great question. Right now, I've heard 57 minutes. Apparently, I hope uh, some ninjas online found this from like no no Dutch major version. leaks, right? Just we're just no no okay. major leaks. But I okay. do want to talk about the John Williams forum that found some of the names of the songs that could be in the finale. So we'll talk about that in a second. There's nothing super spoilery there, but it's something we could talk about. Um, but as far as the length I, i'm pretty confident it's going to be 
close to an hour. Oh, I hope, dude. Yeah, they, they need yeah. to do that, especially with the last ep- last few episodes have been like 30 minutes long and mm-hmm. I want to I want to get sweaty, dude. I want to get it. I feel like the the episodes where they go longer, like even if it's just dialogue, man, I just I'm you're you're putting me in that universe and I want to be in there for a long time. Cuz it's yeah, just that good of a show. I agree. And the first episode had that, you know, that there was the longest yeah. one like it was it really brought you in i and there's just so much they have to do in this episode man i mean we're gonna get into it tonight we're gonna talk about all the cool different things that they could do but there's a lot that i think needs to be resolved there's there's been a lot of threads left dangling let me ask you, you know something do you mean? think uh yeah. you think boba's gonna turn hey it's a possibility man look there's something going on with this show brother because from what I understand, there is for either for sure a Boba Fett show, or there's for sure some show that might not be a Boba Fett show, and yet it wasn't announced uh, at the investor thing, and the only explanation for that is uh, spoilers. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So, what is about to happen? Is Boba about to turn? Is Boba about to do something real bad? You think he's going to die? It's possible that he dies. That's why they didn't re- the reveal series... anything for the show. Well, that and he's rumored to be in the Kenobi show. So right, right. Well, Tumera is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Did you hear the news? Oh, scoop I guess. On that, I guess. By the way, I guess no. Dude, the news scoop on that's is gonna spoiler? blow your mind. Let me. Is this is this a spoiler? Uh, this is a scoop. I don't know if I would consider it a spoiler. So a rumor. It, it's a rumor, but it's okay. probably gonna happen. Yeah. It, uh, is it, it gonna ruin it at all for for me or anybody? I don't think so. No, it it has to do with potentially who's looking for him, for Kenobi. Heard about this? Yeah. Well, I know Vader's looking yeah. for him. Um, right. Yeah. yeah. Maul's looking for him. <laughs> dude, he, dude, Kenobi's got like a the freaking uh, crosshairs <laughs> yeah, on him yeah. from like all <laughs> corners of the right. galaxy. Poor You're guy. Like, Whoa. The yeah, Empire, yeah. Uh, Vader, Maul, like the most dangerous, probably Boba, most dangerous people in the galaxy are just trying to kill this dude. Yeah. All right. So I'll just, so this comes from Kessel Run Transmissions. You know what I mean? Okay. And th- this is what they say. The main villain, aside from Vader. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And, and, and anyone who doesn't want to hear this, I don't know if it is a spoiler. I don't know what he's about to say. Just mute for like for a like minute. 30 seconds. I don't, yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what he's about to say. So. Fair. Fair. Okay. All, all right. right. Good catch, right. my friend. Good right. catch. Right. 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 Uh, that that business on Cato the minor that doesn't count. Uh, yeah. Is a, a clone squad led by Commander Cody for the express purpose of finding. Oh Kenobi. no, dude! Really? Yeah. 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 That's funny you mentioned that. I was I was uh, around five a.m. today. I was reading the uh, the Revenge of the Sith novel, uh, um, a piece in there for a video that's going to be released tomorrow. Um, I was just doing some research, and Cody actually, it, I, I was going over that scene where Order 66 was issued, and Cody, it's so much more extensive in the, in, in the book and detailed. Cody actually knows how difficult it is to kill Obi-Wan, and when mm-hmm. Obi-Wan dropped in the water, Obi-Wan was actually unconscious for quite a while. And mm. yeah, and and Cody takes the crew. He goes in there, and he goes he goes over the water, and he's like just gonna try to boil Kenobi out of there. What? That's yeah. cool. And so what also didn't happen or didn't show in the movie is that um, the Varactyl, the 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 dragon mount that he's on, actually saved Obi Wan's life, and she knew what was gonna happen with Order sixty six, and Obi Wan didn't. Uh, yeah, she could sense it. Like just like sense it. Okay, yeah. yeah she yeah, sensed cool. it, and what she did was when the blast hit, it was it would have been a direct hit for Obi Wan, but she maneuvered in the book and she put her body in it, and and y- you see it from Cody's narration. Um, he's like, <laughs> it was actually kind of sad, but the Varactyl's in pieces and it's falling. Oh. Yeah, she's like split up and like just you dismembered, and yeah, it's not good. Um. And then Kenobi, once he comes, you know, comes to from his from being knocked out in the water, uh, yeah. he's like, he's like, she must have known. This makes her my friend, and blah blah blah. And so it was that was like a nice little piece. It's funny how the friends of Jedi often end up end up like that. Yeah, you know what poor I mean? things. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. that was a cool little piece uh, that we didn't get to see in the movie. Yeah, well, isn't that something, you know? And you know who would likely be playing him is Tamara Morrison. Yeah. Right? So. I mean, tell me that doesn't sound awesome. Bro. It sounds great. 
that yeah, I, I it feel like sounds too good to be true, right? I feel like there's no one, and the way the book was explaining it was like there's this extreme, almost hatred and mission to kill Kenobi from yeah. Cody. Sure. sure, which was nuts well, for he's me. Got both. Well, he's got. Think about this too. I've often thought about this with the clones, and I, I believe this is touched on in the EU. Is that Django is really good at killing Jedi, mm -hmm. and that is part of the reason that Sidious uses him. And so, you yeah. know, there's theories on this, right? There's theories as to why Django is so good at killing Jedi. You know, could it be a midichlorian thing himself? Could he have some insight into that? You know what I mean? And that makes him good at killing Jedi. Is he just sort of savage and sort of driven in a way that like this enemy that has abilities that he doesn't sort of just puts him on fire in a way that it almost gives him abilities you know what i mean well like in the books and comics kind of it, it kind of uh pushes you into the idea that it's just genetics that he's just genetically yeah. superior uh yeah. from all other bounty hunters and and hunters and so mandalorians you wonder if like uh, either you know Wolf or Cody or any of those guys, if they have that in their genes too, where like they just have this kind of yeah savage yeah you know what I mean. I think Hatred they all do. Of, yeah, I think they yeah. all do. They have this ability to the same as Django, right? And mm -hmm. I think Boba is like that too. Um, mm -hmm. It's almost like they have some sort of a force affinity, but it's just genetics. I don't yeah, like the idea yeah, of giving yeah, the force yeah. to everybody. Or like so a it's, clarity. It's like, yeah. yeah. No, I don't think they would be like. I don't think this force would speak to them, so to speak. Like, and mm -hmm. I don't think they would willingly even use it. You know what it reminds me of is. Uh, did you ever watch Bleach? No. So there's this guy in Bleach that. So they all have these basic like swords that they have like so, their soul in them, or they're like really powerful swords, right? Mm -hmm. And there's this one character that has one, but he's such a badass that he doesn't use it. He, because he doesn't even like the idea of using that power. He'd rather just be powerful on his own. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, that's almost the way I view the Mandalorians, where it's like they could, even if they did have like, let's say, like access to the Force or whatever, they might just like literally shut it down and and think of it as a weakness. And yeah. Think of it as not useful. You know what I mean? Like yeah. all that's gonna do is turn you soft. You know what I mean? If you start feeling things. And Sorry, Chad. I had to turn on. Uh, I heard to turn on members only because it's just too much spam. So I'll oh, I'll crazy. turn it off in a minute. Yeah, it's weird. Gotcha. Anyways, um, ruins it for other people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, no, that's uh, it's fun stuff, man. I think that that series. The more and more we hear about that series, I mean, this this is going to be such an epic event for Star Wars fans. Over yeah, dude, it's going to be great. It's the most anticipated show for me, and I I am most excited probably after this if they ever make a uh, young Qui Gon and Dooku Whoa. show, dude. Yeah. Like a ver okay, yeah, yeah, almost like a version of Master and the Apprentice, but with those two. Um, yeah. So I guess kind of like Dooku Jedi Lost almost in sense, but you know more. Yeah. You know, focusing on 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 Qui Gon. I'm actually Dooku is actually one of the most interesting characters in Star Wars to me. He is because I'm always fascinated about like Sereno and like what. So like, how exactly was he able to keep the like? Was he did he revoke his political status as Count when he was a Jedi and then take it back? No, he, he never had a political status when he was a Jedi. No, I meant like so Count is is that status from he took Sereno, that after right? he's. Oh, really? Yeah, he took that after. Yeah, so his dad was royalty. Okay. His dad was royalty. He killed his dad. Wait, did he kill his dad? Am I, am I remembering? That was, well, Sidious killed his dad, and I think, yeah, yeah and also... Yeah, I'm uh, remembering. Yeah, Dooku yeah. also did the same thing. He get, really? killed his dad, unless I'm forgetting something. It's been a couple of years since I read the book. Well, but I yeah. remember Hugo... I remember uh, Plagueis lies to Sidious about him killing his own family mm -hmm. in the novel. You remember that? He literally mm -hmm. he lies to him and says that he killed his whole family. Yeah, and then Sidious and then and then Sidious does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You're, and you're just yeah. like, whoa. You're dude. like, <laughs> dude. Uh, could you imagine? How, I want to make like a funny yeah. short of that. Plagueis is like, whoa. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, I should Literally, probably tell you something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was right? just I was just kidding, man. It was I didn't. A metaphor. It I was, was just trying to look metaphor. cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Palpatine's yeah. like, oh. Uh, that seems really cool, though. But, sorry, go on. So, he, you think Dooku also does this then, yeah? Uh, yeah, so, basically, 
Once he leaves the Jedi Order, he takes his rightful place as the Count of Sereno and oh, goes okay. into royalty and, like, dons these royal robes and all this stuff. And, yeah. Wow. I love yeah. it. It's swag-tastic. He's, like, super rich. He's, he's born yeah. into richness. His dad absolutely hated him. And this is the new canon. His dad freaking mm. hated him because he's, like, the whole X-Men mutant thing. Like, oh, my son's a freak. Uh, get him away from me. I don't want anything to do with yeah. him. He's not part of the family. And when Dooku goes back to Sereno on a Jedi mission when he's a little boy, he meets up with his sister, and then that's when it all starts again, and then he remembers it. Like, oh, yeah, my dad's a complete jerk. He hates me. Why does he hate me so much? And um, once he leaves the Jedi Order, he goes back into all that money, and Mm. then that's when things happen with Sidious and Palpatine and all that stuff. Yeah. So for a while... Because I remember, I didn't read all of Jedi Lost, but I remember there's this part where the Jedi are speculating that he might even start an offshoot Jedi Order or something. That, like, when he left the Order, there was a lot of mystery surrounding, like, what he was going to do. Because he wasn't just a Jedi. He was, like, a very... Dude, he was, like, one of the best. And he was extremely yeah, like, respected. Yeah, that's the, the thing. He was very respected, yeah. So it was... Very, and one of, yeah, the best, that one of the best swordsmen in the whole temple. Yeah. And the galaxy knew this. They were just like, okay. It's like being the best gunslinger, right? It's like, okay, I'm not going to mess yeah. with this dude. Right, right. That's cool. Yeah, very interesting character. Would love to see that explored more. Dude shows Disney up with like a something. curved lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are like, what? Yeah. What? I love his style too. It's so fencing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's so like proper English fencing. You yeah. know what I mean? And I, I yeah. Um, I really that was the created it for the character because Christopher Lee was a fencer. Nice. He's like a champion fencer. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, cool. It all you know, it's all making sense. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So it's cool. So do you want to talk about the music thing real quick? I can tell you about that and we can frame it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be don't so know. gentle. I'll be so gentle. It's I don't want blending. any insight because I, I know the music. I know like okay, okay well, what this will this? mean, what that'll mean and like how about this? Let's start with this. I can explain what people think is going on. I won't tell you the name of the track. Okay, I won't tell you the name of the track. Okay, and and then you tell me after I tell you this first part, if you're okay with hearing the name of the track. Okay. All right. Is that okay? All right. So, this is a website that was. It's a bunch of John Williams fans, and apparently these are real sweaty dudes because they found some some crazy stuff. They found on Shazam. Do you know what the app Shazam is? Of course, is? yeah. So great app. on Shazam. They have the list of all the tracks for season two, okay? And it's a list of 16 tracks, and we have no idea for sure which track goes where. But simple logic kind of th- makes you think the last few tracks might be for the f- last episode. And there's four different songs that we can't quite place to music that we've seen so far in the season. Mm-hmm. And three of them could mean anything one of them probably means this one thing is going to happen and we you don't know for sure who will be involved with this one thing but it seems like it is probably going to happen don't tell me all right i don't want to know i just want to go in super fresh completely fresh i got you i got you yeah. Uh, for those that are curious, I am going to cover this in a video tomorrow, and I'm, I'm yeah. Head over to Josh's. You know, fascinated yeah. To see what happens. I, look, because we don't know. Because the thing is, I've thought a lot about it, and it could just be from a different piece of music. Like there's, we literally don't know for sure. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's where I, I, I just can't. And that's the thing. Even for me, it's like I got to be careful because my sort of fanboy side comes out, and I'm like, oh, maybe it means this or whatever. Do you remember, like, before the prequels, when uh, the Phantom Menace soundtrack came out and it said Qui-Gon's uh, ultimate end or whatever, sacrifice or whatever? Do you remember that? I was nine. I didn't look at the soundtrack. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> dude. Oh, so I guess ruined, yeah, everyone like, knew. Yeah, yeah. They ruined that really bad. This is nowhere close to that. It's very ominous. It's like, what does this mean? But, yeah, back in the day, like, they used to... I don't know, chat. What do you guys... What do you guys want? Do you want to hear about it on the channel, or I, I don't know. Is it going to ruin anything for me? I'm very careful no, about that. I don't want it to. It's, it's not going to ruin anything for you, but it'll put a super big curiosity into your brain, where you'll be like, "What? What does that mean?" Yeah. 
I don't know. Dude, I'm I'm loving this this join only chat. Like there's no there's no mean comments, no, there's no spam. Yeah. yeah, it's just like everyone's just kind of nice, huh? Like actually contributing to the conversation. This is great. <laughs> but I, I I hate the pay to win system, so I'm going to change it back. Yeah, it's a weird. It's a weird. I hate uh, that. I hate that. It's like it's yeah, it's like it's like it's yeah. better for me in the sense that I don't want to see you know. Mm -hmm. The chat doesn't get ruined, but then. Maybe it's okay to. But do then other people don't get to while. chime if it in. It's crazy, you know. You yeah. Okay. If, okay. Yeah. Yeah. From now on, if it gets crazy, bit. I'll just I'll just turn it on. So, here we go. Yeah. All right. It's back to normal. But there you go, guys. Um. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's. Okay. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. Let's so the it. song is called "Rest in Peace." Ah. So who's gonna bite the bullet? That's the question. Well, I knew who someone was going to die anyways. I had an idea. I, mean, I had a, I I had a feeling. I kind of thought someone was going to, too. Dude, who could it be, though? Like, I have... Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea, but I'm starting to get a little afraid of who it could be. <laughs> what if they kill Grogu, dude? What if they do it? I know everybody thinks it's impossible. You think it's impossible, right? Yeah. What if they did it? I mean, how? Like, honestly, what if they did? And like, these are the the, the John like, Williams like, fans found they... found this. Yeah, some John Williams forum. <laughs> yeah. So maybe they're wrong, John. Maybe they're wrong. Yeah, of course they could be wrong. Of course, yeah, we don't know for sure. But if it is real, can you imagine if they killed Grogu? I don't think they will. I mean, it's like their cash cow. So I don't like think so. Yeah, yeah. In the world, I think so. That they probably wouldn't. But <laughs> yeah, I don't think know. so. I, I think. Look, if anyone's gonna die, I think it's Boba, and I've been saying this for like weeks. So. Dude, I know, and I really don't want him to die. You know what I mean? And that's I probably really why don't. they. That's probably why they didn't release uh, his show announcement. Because they're like, oh, okay, then he doesn't die. Sure, that's true. Or, yeah, or if true. they did, and they're like, oh yeah, it's a prequel, then everyone's gonna be like. Oh, okay, so he's going to die. It's... Yeah, it's probably Boba. I was pretty well, sure this was going to happen. here's the thing that's crazy is any... Because we're going to shift into some other stuff, like the possibility of, like, Luke or Cal Kestis or something po popping up as well, right? Luke so dies. So technically, <laughs> that's the thing, right? Like, Again. I mean, like, yeah, right? Like, he dies a different way, and we're just Well, like, dude, imagine if they what? bring him, he, he dies, and then uh, him in The Last Jedi, he was a ghost the whole time. Yeah, yeah, or something. He was already like dead that, the right? entire time. Right. Well, that's the other side is like, dude, it could definitely be a Jedi. I mean, think about this. If Cal and Marin and, and uh, what's the one, the other lady that he's with at the end? Sh uh, Fennec Shand? N no, Cal Kestis. Uh, oh, Seer Junda? No, Junda, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, like, okay, so what if they all show up or, or if some of them show up or something like that? And then it's like a really epic, crazy battle. And then Thrawn shows up. Yeah. And it's like, okay, they've got to get out of there. Somebody's got to make a heroic. No, sacrifice. bro. It, it might gonna... be. Look, it might be Fennec. It might. My money is on Boba or Ahsoka Fennec. dying. Okay, that's fair. But let me let me rebut. So this is why, because I've been kind of going back and forth. This is why I don't think I'm it's changing Fennec the or title of this this stream. Who will die? <laughs> oh God, dude! <laughs> About to break the internet. So let me let me say. I don't think it's Boba or Fennec because you don't necessarily say rest in peace for a character like Boba. Like, even though you and I would be really sad, I don't know if in the story, like, you, you build a piece of music, like, you know what I mean, for Boba passing on. Like, what has he done, really? He hasn't earned that in the show. Yeah, he's just been cute. I don't think it's, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's him. I don't think it's Fennec. Look, dude, it could even be Din Djarin. Can you imagine? I don't think so. I mean, of course, that's the whole thing. Is I think I think it's Boba, things. and I saw an article of, of uh, someone some I don't remember what, what what it was, but apparently George Lucas ships uh, Ahsoka's death. Ships Ahsoka's death? Like yeah, he, like he's down he's for down it. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know he wanted to kill her back in the day or whatever. There was there was a moment where he wanted to kill her. I think uh, in at the end of Clone Wars or something, right? Right. Yeah. So it could be it could be Ahsoka. It absolutely could be Ahsoka. But then. 
Yeah, there's just questions, right? If it's her. It's got to then... be someone expendable. And I think Boba at this point is expendable because, you know, he was gone and, and now, you know, he's back and he gets yeah. this awesome makeover. And uh... it could be Cara Dune. I doubt it, bro. I doubt it, too, because I've heard that she's going to show up in other things. But look, yeah. she would be a she's a heroic character in the show, dude. You know what I mean? Like, she's one of the only real friends. What if Mando it's grief? Has... It could definitely be grief, but he's not there right now. That's yeah. the only thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not with them. Hmm. But it still could be grief because Thrawn is the type of dude to be like, oh, by the Moff? way, I killed him. Moff uh, Gideon. Gideon. Yeah. And then Thrawn would shows you up. Really Right, but would you build a piece of music called Rest in Peace for Thrawn, or for Gideon, though? Maybe, it'd be like, Rest in Peace, sucker. <laughs> if it's like some Wu-Tang <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rest in Peace, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mother... Dope, you know? Yeah. Right? Yo, okay. All right, all right. I'm um, with that. That'd be kind of cool. Nah, that's not really a spoiler, um, dude. I, I figured someone was going to die anyways. Yeah, you can't. Not, you can't. Really spoiler, this, yeah. it, they have to have a huge pole to season three, a huge cliffhanger. Exactly, I mean, exactly. Someone's emotions are going to be on the rise. Exactly. My dog. So... Do you want to talk about the Jedi calling thing? Because I know you have theories. I oh, yeah, 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 for sure. We're going to get into that. Yeah. Someone um, says Bo-Katan. Nah, I think Bo-Katan's going to live. It, again, maybe, but that's the thing that's cool about it is we have no idea. It could technically be a lot of different characters. It's very, you know what it is? It's very Game of Thrones is what it is. Does you your dog I mean? ever, you don't have a dog. Hey, Chad, do you, does your dog ever uh, just, like, sit in the most dangerous positions ever like right behind your chair where their face is like right next to the the wheel or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. literally they are funny, funny like that yeah they have like no concept of how they yeah. just want to be close to you i think like do they do that anyways um you thinking cal kestis you thinking you thinking we even will we'll get a jedi okay Luke, so that's the bit the main question is of course will this have anything to do with the finale right that's the big question. Does the Typhon call have anything to do with it? I so think let's so. Let's start there. I think so, yeah. bro. Why, I think we're going to get. Why do you think so? Because I think we're going to get some like deleted Marvel scene at the end where mm. uh, some dude just like arrives on Typhon where it's like, okay, you think the whole show is done. And then all of a sudden, super quiet. You just maybe hear a little bit of wind rustling or whatever, wind rustling through, through leaves or something. And then you see the stone, silence, mm. nothing. A cloaked figure walks in front of it. Yeah, that'd be enough. I mean, you that know? would. Be, I've thought about Jeez. that too. Like they could do a stinger and just tease it out. Um, I'd lose my mind. Yeah, I would lose my mind as well. I'd I'd want to I'd want to sleep until way. season three. I'd just be like, you know what, dude? Just <laughs> <laughs> like Cartman when he gets the Wii in South Park. I can't Have remember. You ever seen that? I, no, I haven't. Oh, seen dude, that it's so funny. It, he like freezes himself and then he accidentally ends up in the way future. Yeah, uh, and he never gets the Wii. But um, so here's my thing with that. I think it will come into play because they spent so much energy in the show. Like, if you really think about it, the whole thing was take Grogu to the Jedi, right? That mission is still there. And of course, he can't complete that mission with, you know, Grogu being with Gideon. Mm -hmm. But even if he gets him back, the mission is to take him to the Jedi. So... When Ahsoka says in episode five, a Jedi might sense his presence and come looking for him, I almost feel like the Jedi might have a beacon to Grogu and not to necessarily Tython. You know what I mean? Got it. Which could introduce the, the, the possibility of whoever gets that call to show up in the finale where Grogu is, where the at, battle is not at. on. Oh Python. man, that'd be so yeah. cool. What do you think about that? Oh my god, that'd be so sweet. Oh, dude, I can't wait. It's gonna be cool. I know, right? Yeah, it is kind of possible if you think about the way Ahsoka said it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and Jedi yeah. can sense each other. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's like a so, dog sniffing meat, or you know, a, a vampire sniffing blood. Like they'll they'll right. track you throughout. You know, wherever. Yep. Your trail leads to. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah. I don't know, man. So you think Cal? So I think you're leaning more towards well, Cal and Fallen Order people, right? I want Luke, but yeah, I'm really leaning towards Luke. The yeah. thing with Cal is that it ruins Jedi Fallen Order too, because you don't know if he dies. Sure. sure. But also, because there are the so many things that is... point towards Cal, so it's like yeah, 
you know, I don't even know if they would put that big of a, a character in there as Luke. They would just, you know, maybe send like a disciple of Luke, and which could be Cal. Be like, yep, a I master, a, a Jedi master is uh, building a new Jedi order, and he has sent us to find um, students throughout the galaxy strong in the Force. We heard your call, blah, blah, blah. Come with us to... They might not even drop his name. Come with us to, to Yavin 4 or something. Come with us to the Masasi Temple. Come with us to... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very possible. I think that the Fallen Order connection makes a lot of sense considering the plot of that video game, right? And considering that they are ultimately involved with finding Force-sensitive children or cataloging Force-sensitive children. So yeah. I think in that in that way, it makes a lot of sense. With Luke, it kind of depends. It depends on what part of his journey he's exactly in. We have, like, some idea, but we don't have it nailed down exactly. But I think that... The jeans guy. They've set... <laughs> What's up? I'm just reading oh, chat. The jeans guy. Jeans. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, I actually really do believe that it'll end up being Luke, man. I, oh, I, I really do. I really do. And I don't know how crazy they're going to go. But if you think about this season, every at every corner that it was possible for them to like go crazy and do something wild, they did it. And mm -hmm. they did it like well too. Yeah. So I see no reason as to why they can't I mean, like, dude, if we see Sebastian Stan light up that green lightsaber and start actually doing Dicing work, through people? Through dark the troopers. Oh. oh my god, dude. Yeah, I know. I, I... Yeah, like, I mean, dude. I think like, Ahsoka's going to dice through them, and then she's going to die saving Grogu. Or Boba. Do you think Ahsoka's going to show up? Yeah, I know definitely Bo-Katan's going to show up, because, you know, that, they kind of foreshadowed that. Remember when she's like, yeah, we're, we're, we're I'm trying to find Gideon, and we're, we're getting yeah. these, we're getting the, taking the ship and the weapons, and they're going to all probably show up at the last second with the ship, and... It's very possible that Ahsoka shows back up. Especially if Thrawn shows up. Because if Ahsoka is... That's what's so crazy about this episode. Technically, all of the different threads that have been set up, we know that Bo-Katan knows where Ahsoka's at. Yeah. She knows what Ahsoka's doing. Yeah. She, Bo-Katan, is currently stealing Moff Gideon's cruiser. Yeah. Trying to build up her own fleet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then to, to Ahsoka... Get him. Right. For the dark side. And then Ahsoka is looking for Thrawn intimidating you know trying to find this person that's being protected by hk droids that have the seventh fleet logo on them yeah right yeah so it could all be heading towards the same place if gideon is working for thrawn which i mean it kind of makes sense right yeah then if gideon's going to where thrawn's going then that's how Ahsoka's i see it too going yeah. there bo's going there thrawn's going there everybody's going there yeah. and then if luke shows up too like, and I'm trying to not get too excited for this because, look, that's that's a lot, dude. That's yeah. the whole toy chest opening up it is. and being all over the floor. You it know is. what I mean? This is where I see it, okay? So Thrawn's up here. Gideon's right here, okay? I see Bo coming in here. Ahsoka's going to Bo. Din's going here to, to Gideon with yeah. Boba and Fennec and, and Kara. Over here, we got some Jedi. It could be Luke. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Luke or Cal or whatever, and they're yeah, going yeah, towards yeah. Grogu, who's with Moff Gideon, and then in the end they'll all meet at Thrawn, who's with Ezra. Mm-hmm. That's the other point. We haven't even talked about Ezra. Let's go there. Yeah. If Thrawn shows up, let's get sweaty, baby. He, he's with Ezra. He has to be. Yeah. If Thrawn shows up, he's with Ezra. That doesn't mean we're gonna see Ezra. Yeah. But it means he's with Ezra now. I have personally heard, and again, uh, rumor, I don't know. I've personally heard uh, that that it is very possible that Ezra Bridger plays a big role in season three. That's all I'll say. Okay, that's, that's all fine. I'll say. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but that makes sense, right? I mean, like with Thrawn and, and sort of heading towards that, um, that's going to be a big part of the Filoni verse. Which, by the way, I want to sort of clarify that because um, I saw some people confused after the announcement. Like, wait, is this all Filoni verse? No, yeah. definitely not. It's the the shows, anytime they mention something spinning out of The Mandalorian, and it's way more than the two shows they announced, for sure. Mm -hmm. But, like, that's the world that I'm talking about when I talk about the Filoni-verse. But it seems like it will 
be more or less restricted to that time period where like a Leslie Headland acolyte show that has nothing to do with what Dave's doing. Do you remember the acolytes of the beyond in the aftermath novel? Oh yes. Yeah. What's the deal with those guys? Could this be about them? So it was like ancient Sith worshipers uh, that were looking for Vader's lightsaber. Yeah, it's possible. I don't know too much about those. Some people believe that the Acolytes of the Beyond became the Knights of Ren eventually or something. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've seen that theory. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know too much uh, about that. I think the Acolyte could be actually connected to this other weird version of the Sith you and I were talking about off air, the Kashiri mm. and the, the, on the planet Kesh which uh, I'm going to drop some weird lore videos about. But, uh, yeah, that either way, that's not Filoni-verse. So Star Wars is going crazy. They're doing yeah. so much right now. Like, all bets are off. All, you know, like, let's man the battle stations. Like, we got to get the speculation going because this is wild. Like, they're going everywhere, you know? And they haven't uh, even announced everything. No, no, they haven't. They're sitting on a yeah. lot, yeah. Yeah. Um, but regardless, Ezra Bridger, what is your take? You think he's coming? Uh, I don't want to see him because it just means, well, maybe it doesn't mean, maybe we could have more than one Jedi, but I just feel like they're saving one spot for a Jedi who's not Ahsoka. Hmm. Uh, so if they put Ezra in there, then then no Luke, and I just want to see Luke. Really? You think that's the trade-off? I say, why not both? Well, we three? Ahsoka, Ezra, and Luke? Oh, I think there's more than that. My t- actually, my thing right now, Jeez. and and I know, like, I don't know if we can actually work this out in canon or not, but I actually think that Luke's Jedi Order is going to be more filled out and explained, and it's possible that there was maybe some of the students were not on that world when Palpatine destroyed the temple. And that there could be other Jedi. Yeah, of course. That were a part of Luke's Jet. Right. So that leaves the door open for like Kanan, Sindula, Ezra. Well, Kanan would be gone. Well, he's dead, point, but, but he wasn't on the world. He wasn't on Coruscant. Oh, he right. wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't so at the temple. Similar. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a very similar. Same thing. with Cal. So like, and, yeah. so. because I think they might be setting stuff up. Um, we don't have to get too far ahead of ourselves, but I think they could be setting stuff up for the far future, and they will still want Luke's students to they will still want that through line i think so but regardless yeah i think there could be a ton of jedi that show up like there's nothing if if luke is with the his jedi at this point and he senses grogu like why wouldn't he it's only five years like roll up you know what i mean like yeah. i would roll up he doesn't even need to he's luke like he can handle it but he's the son of freaking probably... anakin skywalker dude he could just yeah. take them all down in one shot yeah, and that is actually crazy. What if we see some, like, really epic stuff? Because right now stuff we're we were, all thinking... we were hoping to see in the sequels? Yeah. Right. So yeah. we're all thinking right now, like, what if Thrawn shows Wish. up and then they all have to bail because Thrawn's too much? But if Luke shows up, what if Luke shows up and, like, does some wild stuff, like ripping Star Destroyers or, like, doing crazy, you know? I would... I'd sleep <clears throat> very... Well, actually, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not sleeping Friday at all. Uh, but, um... I'd be very happy. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'd be very happy. Um, it would mean more yeah, to me than, cool. than any. It would bring out the child in me and all the, you know, all the dreams and things I had uh, regarding Luke and, you know, um, them making it right. Yeah. That would go a long way. It really would. Okay. Yeah. It would really, it would really yeah. touch my soul. Yeah. It would go a long way, brother. Yeah. And I think, too, you know, and we don't, again, we don't have to go too far down this road, but we've sort of talked about this before. I think an important way to sort of fixing uh, TLJ is is really establishing the fact that Luke put all of his eggs into the new Jedi Order. Luke put all of his eggs into this new generation of Jedi. That's going to be important to the failure that snaps him into a weird state. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um but okay so that's the big jedi thread and we've sort of sweated it out about that uh you want to talk literally spear on dark saber one on one yeah i think combat? that's i think that's foreshadowed big time big time how you think our boy's going to do like is gideon going to just whoop him or i what? think the problem is that that gideon might get into a a um a dark trooper phase 3 suit and oh. Because if you guys didn't know the ones that we saw, I, I think, were Phase 2. 
but the phase three is an exoskeleton suit so it's like an it's like the hulkbuster you get in there and you can bro I so imagine him in there what? with 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 the dark saber just you know what's really cool about that too is what does that feel like that feels very iron man yeah, it does. Ob yeah. Obadiah's stain, right? Like that feels like oh, right know. in John's wheelhouse. Well, that's the main character from the. I don't know uh, Marvel nearly as well as you do. You, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, got yeah, it, yeah, got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he would, he could technically, like that feels right in his wheelhouse. You know yeah. what I mean? He loves doing stuff like that, like bringing in his old stuff. You know. So. Um, yeah, man, those dark wow. troopers were essentially just oh. Iron Man. <laughs> Bro, right? Yeah. So if he's in this suit. What's that going to look like when he's fighting Din Djarin? Like, how much stronger do you think he would be than him in a physical sense? Oh, he'd destroy him. And then we have to get Boba yeah. in there with all of his uh, right. stuff. Maybe the Slave One gets destroyed. Yeah. Uh, I hope not. But, you know, there is a Slave yeah. 2, 3, and 4, so whatever. True. So I think I'm uh, – here's what I'm hoping for. Like, I'm hoping for really good choreography, and I think – I want to see Gideon kind of outclass him a little bit because although Din is a great warrior, I there's got to be a reason. I would hate it to be the case that Gideon is actually not that great with the saber and he just got it off of Bo like in a shady way. You know what I mean? I think Gideon. I, I think it. Gideon might even be a. Uh, I, I, I I haven't made a video on this yet, but um, I think Gideon is a descendant of Vader's teachings. Yeah, so I think he's he, been taught well, he by very Vader. Well could be. Yeah. That's what I mean. Because if you think about it, what did he say to Grogu, right? He said, you're getting rather good at that. That implies that he's seen him do it before at mm -hmm. a lesser skill level. Mm -hmm. So it means like he might have witnessed Grogu being trained by either Vader, Palpatine, or, you know, what we continue to talk about is basically the ISB, right? So yeah. that. Well, Grogu that or, or maybe he was a Jedi with Grogu at the temple. What if he was a temple guard? You know what I mean, or something like that that gets that gets brought in. But well, then moth. he would be That's an, an, an inquisitor in that sense. But um, yeah, he could be a dark Jedi. Yeah, but then the they would just use his blood. Being a moth. That's a, yeah, and the fact that he's a moth, right? So he's super high ranking in in the Empire. So you think he's going to be in the Kenobi level? show? Because we know we know we have Jedi hunters in there. True. I mean, he would have been. Well be. Let's say he's dude. That would be fifty-five if he was in the. True. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He would. He would well, have been. That's assuming. Like. Yeah, he could 30. be a young he would man been, on the. He'd yeah, been like. He'd be a young man. Late twenties. That'd be awesome to see, dude. You know, I'd love to see that. And uh, you know, they might even put like a little Tarkin in there and help us to just kind of further explain what that all looked like. How like cool. what was Palpatine doing? And in Bad Batch, if you think about it, Bad Batch is a great way to set that up as well. How cool, man! Because yeah. it's a similar t time period. Yeah. Yeah. They're really I want to see uh, great choreography with that fight, bro. Like I'm hoping yeah. that they pull out whoever they got to do the choreography in five with Ahsoka. Yeah. Which I'm assuming they had a couple of people work on that, but like it was beautiful, bro. Yeah. That spear great. fight with those double sabers. Phew, that was that was beautiful. And I love the sound mm -hmm. that the sabers make when it touches Beskar. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen what the dark saber sounds like when it hits Beskar yet. No. It's gonna be really gonna cool. Be nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Cause the dark saber is um, Mandalorian, and so is Beskar. So it, it maybe there's like a different yeah, noise. Dude. Yeah, dude. Right. Yeah. What if it like cracks and like you know? Cause I I, I just creates I love lightning. A lot of the, right. Yeah. yeah it's not supposed crazy. to happen. You know. You're not supposed to fight against your own. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 There's a uh, there's just so much cool stuff that could happen just in that one on one, and it is leading to that one on one. Like that one on one. Like they're gonna. They're gonna build it up with music. They're gonna. It's gonna have some some dope, you know, macho lines. You know, where Gideon's gonna tell him, "You're not. You're you're basically nothing." And then you know, they're gonna. And then they're gonna lock weapons. And whew, I'm excited. They're gonna da dangle Grogu's death in front of us, possibly, and yeah, possibly, make us think right? one yeah. thing or the other. And yeah. I think it's gonna be like yeah. Endgame. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be wars yeah. just going on with everybody. Gideon, yeah. Din. Dark Troopers, I don't know, Ahsoka, Boba, Dark Troopers, Boba, uh, Ahsoka, yeah. and Thrawn. 
Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it could be crazy. Crazy. Bo Katan yeah, and and, and the Dark Troopers with Boba. Do you think they're going to have? Is it, is this going to be on a physical location, like on a Dude. on a planet, or are they gonna space battle? I'm so pumped. Uh, I think it's on a planet. I'm still hoping more we get room to for see destruction. Slave. True, true. I'm still hoping we get to see some Slave One action though, because dude, that yeah. thing taking out the, you know, the true. Oh man, like. I think we'll see seismic so charges bought, again. Dude. Yeah, I'm really hoping so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, that was super fun. So yeah, like Boba like taking people out in Slave One on the outskirts. You know, you got your gunners, and then they get Din in there, and then he just does his thing. It's gonna be awesome. Do you think we'll see awesome. any uh, legacy characters from the OT, from the original trilogy, like Han Solo, Leia? Chewy. No, I hadn't. You know, I got to be honest. I hadn't really thought about that. You know what? Could, if anything, if the New Republic shows up, right? Because that's a whole nother thing that we haven't yeah. really talked about. Is the f that we've got the New Republic is out there, right? right they're right, out right, there. Right, in the right. they're, they're checking it out, and so it's possible Wolf for that other dude, or mm -hmm. Trapper Wolf. I think is one guy's name. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's that's you know, uh, they, that's Dave Filoni, and then Carson Filoni, Teva yeah. is the other one. Yeah, so they could show up. Um, you know, even. Uh, you know, I, re I, I went back in my research and I watched the scenes in Battlefront 2 again with that Luke, man. And that's oh, yeah. there's this really cool moment where the, the character asks him, like, he, he's basically like, yeah, like, I'm not blind. Like, I see what the Empire does, but what else is there? And Luke says, a choice. And he says, like, what do you mean? Like, the rebellion? And Luke says, no, a choice to be better. Yeah. And I was like, that's so powerful. Because it's not like he's saying, like, oh, no, the rebellion's the way. Like, it's a rebellion or the hills, you know? He's saying, like, it starts with you making a personal choice yeah. to be better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and we need that Luke restored, you know? And we need um, that that uh, warm, uh, especially, like, in the existential sense, like, just at the end of 2020. Like, we could really use that Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Again, you know what I mean? So um, that's also possible. I don't know where I was going with that. I apologize. I just Dude, no, you said it. Yeah, we need we need that Luke back. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Because right now the last the last memory of Luke we have is you know, Jake, and we need this Luke from after Return of the Jedi to come in there. And I know a lot of people in the sequels love the Luke that was portrayed. Yeah. They say he was heroic, this and that. I don't argue with you. Sure, if you believe that, that's awesome, amazing. I wish I was there too. But um, yeah, the Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. Let's just see how how that happened. Okay, so. In order yeah. to see that, that's all I'll say right now is that let's see how that happened. And in order to see that, we need to see Luke does what he is, who he is, yeah, who George agreed. Lucas wrote and him I, as. Yeah, and the thing about the people that like the sequels is this happening <clears throat> in The Mandalorian doesn't actually take away from your thing at all. It doesn't yeah. change that. You yeah. know what I mean? So, like, you shouldn't be upset about well, it. Well, that's, the, <laughs> that's, the, that's the unfortunate you know. part is that that's, that's where Luke ends, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. you know, but you give know, us this part we, in the middle. Yeah, we still would really like the gooey warm center. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we would still like the treat, please. Uh, I need to see him with the green lightsaber. I, I don't know, man. I just really, uh, I really need to see that. And I, I would be very, uh, I'd be very, very into it. So, um, okay, so we talked about the one-on-one. -on -one. We've talked about the Jedi thing. So we've sort of talked about Thrawn and Ezra. I guess we can dive a little bit deeper into... Uh, into that whole thing um i don't think thrawn's gonna play a major role at all like there's no way they would just sideline gideon like i feel as though this episode must give us let me ask you this do you think gideon dies do you think din's gonna take him out i think thrawn's gonna take him out if anyone takes gideon dude. out i think it's gonna be thrawn wow that would be wild dude like a little like because look i mean me. you got right here you have the highest power in the show at the moment and that's Thron um moff gideon if yeah. one of the good guys kills him that takes them as the higher power then where's the struggle sure 100%. Thrawn? you're right okay yeah but what if you have the higher power killed by a bigger higher power that comes in mm. and takes his right. spot and is now the apex predator yeah yeah, that right. makes sense. No, then I it's like, like, I like holy that a lot, crap, yeah. this guy was the top leader, top dog. We were so scared of him. And then now this dude just eats him up. And it's like, 
what the hell and it just blows your mind so it's like it makes a bigger yeah. struggle i think for um, yeah. season three makes sense and it would also be i mean it would really set up the rest of the spin-off shows and sort of the whole thing is trying to uncover exactly what Thrawn is doing. He's out in the unknown region, so we're not really sure. Mm -hmm. The New Republic doesn't really think it's a big threat, so they're kind of on their own. Um, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, like, fun flavor and whatnot that they can, they can set up in the episode. If it really does happen, it will blow minds, dude. You know what I mean? Like, it will blow minds. If yeah. we see a blue-skinned, white-suited, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Red-eyed. Red eyes yeah. Bro, I mean, that's almost like Luke Skywalker level for me because my experience with the Heir to the Empire series was magical, dude. That was a big thing for me as a Star Wars fan, like reading through that and like Sabioth and all of that. Yeah. Uh, it, it was a big deal. So I think that could potentially get people to freak out if yeah. Thrawn showed up. Yeah, I think so. Be epic. I agree. I think... I just want to see an end game battle. I mean, they they did a great job yeah. with that with that fight, and we could just see it in Star Wars, and I think it would just make things absolutely insane. Yeah. My only yeah, worry definitely. is is you know, um, if they kill someone, then then who are they going to kill on the other side, or is there not going to be a balance? Do the heroes just take an L? Get absolutely destroyed like Empire. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is. I've seen a lot of people talking about this as well, that the model is usually after the first act where you kind of have your cheery victory, right? At the end of A New Hope, like, they win. They save Yavin. Yeah. In Empire, they end by losing. Yeah. Which sets up the third act as being like a, oh, my goodness, kind of thing, right? And so if they're following that model, then the end of this season would be tragic absolutely tragic and they would yeah. not necessarily win now that doesn't mean they can't get grogu back because they could still get grogu back and take a loss yeah you know what i mean yeah which could be the character that dies Do you think grogu uh, dies it could be yeah i mean i don't know bro like i'm confused like i don't my everything in my logical brain says din Djarin has plot armor uh grogu has plot armor even boba has plot armor just because I know how much John really likes that character. It oh, does he? Like that. Oh, dude, for sure. Yeah. That's good. So if yeah, I brought him like back. I those guess, characters so. have plot armor. But here's the thing: what did John say in the EW articles before the season started? I don't remember. He said Game of Thrones, bro. He said Game of Thrones. What is Game of Thrones most known for? Killing people. <laughs> Killing the characters you love. Yeah. It's like they're but also like, Game of you Thrones, know? you know, the Beskar throne is, there is no throne. It seems like everyone's fighting for that. Everyone wants that Darksaber, man. That's the key yeah. to Mandalore. Mm -hmm. And the way, dude, now that you say that, the way Boba looked at the spear, yeah, right. yeah. he's like, huh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe yeah. saving the child is in his best interest. Right. Because killing yeah. Moff Gideon will get him the throne. Yeah, if he gets the saber back, yeah. What if he's actually after the saber? You know what I mean? And the other thing that's... Uh, and then he'll turn against Bo and Ahsoka. Right, right. Well, here's the other thing that's crazy is the first season of Game of Thrones literally ends with the main character. Like, not a side character. The main character Dying. getting his head cut off. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, what? Like, I remember reacting to that and being like, what? Yeah. And then what did the whole internet and the whole world talk about? What could possibly be season two? Yeah. What is this possibly going to look like now? Yeah. And if they do that and they kill Din Djarin or they kill Grogu and then we're all just like, what? I mean, is there a better way to set up a third season? Yeah, maybe they, they might just go crazy and do something absolutely insane like that and just like kill in and the pots i mean he said game of thrones bro you know what i mean like i wouldn't be saying this unless he said it he said it hold up okay game of thrones they killed i forgot what his character was who was his character's name ned stark ned stark they kill ned stark but then you see you know the rise of his children pretty much yes yes mm -hmm. boba is kind of like the father to din in a sense where you know he's yeah. like you know mm -hmm. 
the older him, I suppose you could say. Yeah. So they might just kill him. It could be Boba, yeah. The only reason I don't necessarily think it's Boba, again, is that I just don't necessarily feel as though he's earned that, you know? Like, I get it, and people would be, you know, crushed by it, but I don't know if Din Djarin would be crushed by it. That's the point. No, he wouldn't. The, he wouldn't care. The reason, right. So the, reason the characters wouldn't struggle, in, so that's that's the exactly, thing. Exactly. So In Thrones, it's like the yeah. support structure. Their whole house is gone. Like, Sansa becomes... She's the yeah. the lady of House Stark, or yeah. you know, and then uh, before that, the other brother becomes the king in the north and stuff, right? So like the whole idea is Snow. Yeah. No, no not at that uh, his, point. Um, yeah, Rob. Yeah, Rob. Uh, Rob's, Rob Stark. Yeah, who was great, and then they killed him too. I couldn't yeah, believe it. Yeah, they killed him too. He was awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. He was killing it, and then I loved how like Stannis was like the only one that knew like Rob Stark was for real, basically. My favorite Stannis in the whole show, like, I think, was Tyrion. What's up? Your favorite what? It was Tyrion. Your, Tyrion's great. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. He's a great character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's awesome. But anyway, yeah, so they might rip our our heart out, bro, is what I'm saying. Maybe Gorgu dies. Maybe Palpatine shows up or and, and is like, Grogu. He's, he's dead. Come with me. But he's dead. Yeah, well, he, you know. Well, we also know he's actually not dead, so, yeah. Yeah, true. True. But, you know. Yeah, true. But, I mean, in the book, it said he was trapped in that body there so for, like, forever. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. I doubt they would do that. I was That's a, that's a little... That's a bridge too far. But right? that's interesting. You know? you know what? He... Okay, so in the Episode Nine novel, it, it says that before, Pal, before we see that blue explosion, Palpatine's actually transferred his entire soul and essence into... Into that body. Into that... Yeah. Into that... In, what he calls a failing like yeah i forget the words but yeah it's like yeah he he goes into that vessel and it sucks and he's like this he's is like horrible. he's like i'm trapped in this piece of yeah, crap this <laughs> is the worst yeah it's like you had one job to do like i would have yeah. loved to see the robot chicken version of that where he's like freaking out about you know what's interesting and, and this is in tomorrow's video um hmm. Palpatine's son, his clone, who is Rey's father, was born 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, if you do the math right. If he's around 30 years old, when we see him um, in what I think is 20 ABY, Rey is born 5 ABY. I feel like she's put on Jakku when she's 5 or 6. This makes it 20 ABY. And if yeah. her dad is about 30 years old, let's say 30 or 25, mm -hmm. if we take that back, that's 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, which is mm -hmm. 10 BBY. Revenge of the Sith was, uh, what was, uh, 19? Or was it 22? Anyways, this oh, puts no. him around 10 years after Revenge of the Sith. Which the, means the that... Birth of the of the birth father? of that son, yeah. So wow. this means, yeah, this means that he was, uh, he was experimenting with this stuff for the longest time. Since well, that's what the, the Grogu prequels. thing is. That, I mean, that's what, I, that's what we all think this is. So Please. he's known about Grogu, I think, mm -hmm. for a long time. And I, I think he was maybe the one that took him from the temple. And that's I what tomorrow's video is about. It'll explain so. everything, how this this all makes sense from the novels, from Revenge of the Sith novel, from all that stuff. Yeah. So, Yeah, I strongly feel as though it was Palpatine that took him. And there's so much evidence. Like, yeah. I, you know, it, it, we've seen it in the Clone Wars. It's even in Rebels. It's even in Rebels. In fact, there's a line that Kanan says in Rebels where he says... Or Ahsoka says something to, to Kanan like, this was happening in the Clone Wars as well. The Jedi Order uncovered uh, Palpatine trying to steal Force-sensitive children. And Kanan literally says, except now there are no Jedi to protect them. And so he's talking about how, like, it's still going on. Yeah. And this this is basically what's going on with Grogu and, uh, and Gideon. Yeah. And it leads to some crazy stuff. And so... We haven't really, you know, even talked about that, but yeah, there could be more Palpatine esque, you know, kind of stuff, stuff going, going on, on in this episode. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think very, it's going to be a crazy bizarre. episode. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I can't wait. I'll have to give you a call. I'll give you a Discord call after the episode. Oh, we're gonna I'll, have I'll, to I'll chat. On your, we're gonna yeah, have to I'll chat. chat. I'll I'll pop on your stream for a little bit before I hop on mine. And we'll chat it up. Or you could be on yours and and we can do a call together and uh, do True. what we're doing True. now. Cool. Sounds good. I'm D. I'm D, dude. Um, Heck yeah. What you feeling? We done? 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you want to do some chats or whatever? Oh, get right. The chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we can knock out. We can, we don't have to do them all, but we can knock out a few uh, or whatever. Whatever you're comfortable. Yeah, with. Uh, guys. After this, I'd love to do the um, part two to the uh, the bounty hunter game that we did yesterday. So, yeah, started playing that yesterday. Yeah, how was it? Oh, it was great, dude. Pretty fun. Yeah, it was great. Uh, boys, That's I've spent awesome. twenty bucks now. Please take a look at. Dwight Jr., please, you guys are the best. Love the podcast. Bro, screw Dwight. No. We, yeah, we saw him yesterday, right? Or two days ago. I, yeah, um, I looked it up. I was like, yeah, whatever. That's cool. I, I'm. I, I, look, man. Whatever, man. Do you think we'll get there to see Ahsoka? things you could spend your money on. <laughs> Do you think we'll get yeah, to see ahead. Ahsoka's reaction to Grogu's force? And there's, there's 9,600 of you here. I'd appreciate it if you all hit like. You got something special to come in that uh, has been in the works for two years. Um, hopefully on the 22nd of December trying for that but um yeah we'll, we'll see so anyways does this uh, have anything to do with what i saw yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah actually after this call like i my phone's been blown up with um anyways yeah. okay do you think we will get get to see ahsoka's reaction to grogu's forced call uh no i think it'll be another jedi maybe Agreed. perhaps yeah whole bunch yeah. of new members thank you guys i appreciate it so much um, I'll be posting some exclusive stuff for you. Do you think a Yoda limited series would be cool? Yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be neat. Yeah, it's a tough one though. It's like, but I it's think that's what we're getting though. with the Acolyte shows. I think we'll be able to see a little bit of Yoda in there because of the Ooh, yeah, because because it, it's in the, it's in the High Republic. So um, yeah, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> how do you guys think Obi Wan will age so fast? Those twin sons, man. <laughs> yeah, or some death sticks. Maybe he had a bad couple of months. Yeah, maybe. Bad couple of years. Tell Josh okay. to hook you up with some of his awesome wait time music. <laughs> yeah, I, I put some cool lo-fi. Every morning stream, we have cool like lo-fi playing when, when the stream starts. People like it. So, <clears throat> Dope. If Rey hears Ahsoka's voice in The Rise of Skywalker, does that mean she died before the ends of, uh, events of the movie? If so... Ahsoka's show would have a small time frame to use. Uh, Filoni said that he, he's not confirming or denying her death. Right, Josh? Yeah, I don't think she's dead. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. It's definitely not conclusive either way. Yeah. Could Grogu's Force Call have been received by an unknown Sith Mara Jade type character instead of a Jedi? Right, this is the thing that uh, a lot of people are not realizing is that, you know, a Force user doesn't just mean Jedi. Yeah. Could be a Sith. Would love it. Yeah, absolutely. Imagine yeah. there's some, like, Sith out there, like, in the freaking unknown regions. Well, what if it's Ezra, and Ezra's not the Ezra we last met? Yeah, maybe. He I doesn't doubt, have I his green that. saber anymore. I what if he had to get a red one? A red one? one. But that means he would have to bleed it. Unless it's already, like, a, a picked up one. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Go to but, Josh's hey, channel not? tomorrow morning, early in the morning talking about nerdy s oh is that I, so i sing this thing sometimes it's who was who who sent ezra? that in ezra oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah next friday disney plus will have an hour-long episode behind the scenes of the second season oh cool yeah the gallery dude yeah oh yeah, yeah the gallery yeah. right yeah um yeah i'm excited hey so i guess yeah. we got tons to talk about man yeah I got, you know oh, after bro, that like, ever bro like no but I, I just mean for mando Oh, sure. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I guess we got tons to talk about. We can talk about those every Monday as well. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Uh, Paul, thank you. But John Williams isn't composing for Mando. No, but uh, no. there are his sweaties who obviously know music, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And who knows if that rumor is true. Theory, from a buddy of mine, Mace shows up. Then Boba has to decide between keeping his word or taking a chance for revenge potential for a Boba versus Mace battle. Oh, that'd be amazing. But what if Han shows up? Yeah. Let me let me ask you guys this, chat and Josh. Do you think Boba has more of a vendetta against Han Solo or Mace Windu? Mace, hundred percent. Mace, he's he's not even bad. I don't even think he hates Han like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I think he has probably some respect for Han. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But he's also probably like about that paycheck. Yeah, but I think when it gets personal, you killed my dad. Like I'm gonna. Oh. Come on now, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. personal for me. 
And I love Maze. And the whole thing with foul with with Boba this whole season is we haven't really seen him like switch on except for that little bit against the stormtroopers. But that was really him. That was nothing. That was just yeah, like that was pretty much it. Yeah. I want to see him go. emotionally go insane. Like just yeah, lose the yeah, calm, like... cool, collected Boba and just yeah, really put everything to the you know to the test and not care if he's mm-hmm. gonna die at all. Which I mean, he never does, but. Um, yeah right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they tried that before. Yeah right. Uh, why would they kill Grogu or Din if the main if they're main characters? Yeah, good question. Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Think about it, Game of Thrones. They're, they're not trying they're... to make you happy. They're trying to make you furious and want to watch the next season. Yeah 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 yeah. Um, Din dies and then Grogu uses the force to bring him back to life and collapses. His ultimate fate will be a cliffhanger along with Thrawn and Luke. Oh, that's interesting. That is resurrection very interesting. style. Mm. Yeah, that'd be very interesting. Yep. Hmm. That's then kind Grogu of might die. I mean, that's what killed Ben Solo, right? He gave essentially bringing Ray back to life killed him. Yeah. So what if Grogu does that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> that was so I I didn't understand. Like he just brings her back to life and he like smiles and then they they make out and then he's just like well see what happened was you know there was there was no was jj was secretly leaking the scenes to reddit and he was watching how people were responding and when there was no kiss and ben was yeeted off the cliff he realized people hated that and so then they went back and reshot them by the way i'm not even kidding they went back and reshot the scene to put that kiss in there really Oh, yeah. That's what you think? That's what I've heard, yes. That's what they put in there? They didn't put freaking Anakin? I know, right? <laughs> like, come on, dude. Like, where were they getting these notes? But by the way, to be fair, Reddit was pretty up in arms about Anakin being in the film, too. So JJ should have listened because everybody was talking didn't about that. Didn't they shoot before. Anakin? Didn't they Didn't they have him in there dude, and they deleted I've it? I've tried so, brother. I There's apparently not. Apparently not. So what was this whole thing that Kevin Smith kept talking about b- melting minds or whatever? The freaking, you know what? I think Kevin was talking about the Palpatine scene with the lightning. That's what I think. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't melt minds, dude. No, it definitely that didn't. melts Palpatine. I mean, it's a cool, it's a visually cool scene, and I like the way the sound plays in that scene. It's, oh it's yeah, a very interesting scene. But it's, it, you know, what it is, it's, it's all fluff it, and mind you and and i'm gonna say this here now um anything i i say in regards to the sequels of, of me not liking the story has nothing to do with the production value or the cinematography or the music or the sound or anything i think i think those are some of the best aspects of star wars when it comes to um the production value and the and the cinematography and the music and the sound effects i think they they you know it's just technology like it's this is the latest and greatest and um it's phenomenal you know but the story sucked for me. So that... Yeah. Well, that, yeah. it's like what we talked about on Monday. It was moments mm-hmm. strung together with yeah. a super lackadaisical, not impactful, not well thought out framework. Uh, well, you know, I, you know what? I think it was actually very well thought out. I think it was just thought out by the wrong people. Right. And by different people that thought differently about it. Like, if you think about it, like, yeah, absolutely. it's super clear that Ryan and JJ have very different ideas yeah. about a lot of the aspects of it. I'd rather so see JJ's Star Wars than than Ryan's. Or even JJ and Gareth Edwards or something. Like it seems like they took oil and water. And Colin Trevorrow above like... all of them cuz he actually understands yeah. it. True. True. Yeah. That script um that script is pretty impressive. And I was very <laughs> skeptical of that script when it first came out. I was like, "Ah, some of this stuff's whack." But you know what's really good in that script is the characters. The character moments like i don't know how else to say it like there's just beautiful character i'll moments. reach I'll, I'll tell you guys he, um, he colin Trevorrow reached out to me in a dm when i when i did that animation um it, it was so cool that's like i, I was i was like what no way yeah, this guy's probably. actually talking to me this is insane yeah, yeah. it's wild no he would have yeah. been he would have been good it's just yeah man they uh but hey look it looks like they're learning from their mistakes because it seems like there's more control uh <clears throat> lanes and there's no ryan johnson anywhere so yeah anyways um what if r.i.p refers to moff gideon remembering vader and his death i doubt it 
but interesting. It's a big stretch. Big yeah, stretch. Big stretch. A cool idea. Yeah. yeah. It could be Mando and Bo Katan would be the new Mandalorian. No, I think there's just one. Yeah. Thoughts? Yeah. But yeah. again, I mean, it's an interesting thought. I, I, look, I understand that the, I've heard a lot of people talking about how the Mandalorian might actually not be referring to a singular person, but rather the Mandalorian, like the person that should rule. And I think that's cool. That's very Game of Thrones as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Oh, uh, guys, I'm posting a whole bunch of uh, lost footage that I never uploaded from Star Wars Celebration 2019 on my TikTok and my uh, Instagram. So I saw some. Yeah, I saw something on your Insta about it. Uh, yeah. When it reminded me of Celebration. Did you remember last uh, Celebration when there was a snowstorm in Chicago? Yes. In the freaking middle of April? Yeah. My flight got delayed out. Did yours get delayed? I remember that. I th I can't remember if it got delayed or not. It did get delayed. Dude, they tried to delay it to, for think, us yeah. to, like, win Wednesday. Oh, wow. And I had to, like, go, like, try to figure it out. Yeah, it was awful. But, uh, yeah, that was fun. But then it randomly had us a, a blizzard in mm -hmm. April. Yeah. It was Pretty wild. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Chicago's a beautiful city. I love it. The food, bro. I didn't get, get the. I didn't get. The, I didn't get. No, I didn't get to taste the great. I, I went to like a, a pizza place, and that that was it. You know, I didn't get to actually taste the the real Chicago food. So I got to go back. Dude, next time you and I are doing a con together, like, oh man, the, you're not gonna be able to. We're escape. gonna have so much fun together. Yeah, man. Cause like, how are you gonna go to Chicago and not get some Chicago dogs or some deep dish or? I got deep dish. Friggin I got deep dish. There you go. There yeah. you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was good. But yeah, nothing else, unfortunately. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Snarf, man, please remember you said you would read my super chat from Tuesday today. Snarf, can you please just just um? Is Snarf put what your same guy? Yeah, can you please put what your comment in the other message? Please put what your comment is because I don't see a lot of things. So and no guarantees, man. I'm sorry. Please just if you're gonna comment it just put what your question is i'd love to read it i'm gonna go fill up my coffee brother i'll be right back okay man um i don't want to see ahsoka die i want to see the grandmaster ahsoka in luke's temple yeah um uh, you know i'm i'm weary of that i think she might die but i mean what's the greatest sacrifice grogu din or ahsoka if boba dies it's gonna suck you know for us fans but i mean it's, it's at the end of the day ahsoka dying is like the biggest i think is probably probably the biggest thing Theory, hold rain tight tonight. I had to put my dog down yesterday. No, I'm so sorry, Sabrina. Uh, I, I you know, rain's my first dog, and I can't imagine what it's gonna be like one day without her. I don't even want to think about it. Brutal, dude. Putting down a dog is like one of the most emotional things. It's very rough. Uh, it could be Mando and Bo-Katan will be the new Mandalorian. Do you think, K K Chad, do you think Bo's going to be the new Mando or, uh, d sorry, the new leader of Mandalore? Or do you think Boba will be or Din? I don't think Boba cares for it. Doesn't really seem that way, does it? Yeah. He'd have to have a uh, an interesting arc to get there as a character. Mm -hmm. That's scummy if you don't read Super Chats. Uh, I am always reading them, man. Yeah, I spend several hours reading them, so... Yeah, right. Like, what a weird thing to say. Well, yeah, I actually do my best to read them. So, um, anyways, um, we're not going to see a force sensitive din. We would not have had an entire episode without it being hinted at. Personally, we don't need him to be. I predict Boba and Bo both live. It's possible, man. I'd love to see Cal. That would be amazing to tie in. Hell, they thought they brought cartoon characters in. Why not game characters? Right, and that's the thing. is like so many things tie into Cal with the runes yeah. on the stone, with, you know, right. Cameron Monaghan looking exactly like Cal. I mean, they could have just made him right? look like someone else, yeah. you know? what's Why would they do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd love it. I'd love it. And by the way, little bit of rumblings that some game stuff might be coming soon, and it might be real, real cool. Real, real cool. I hope, so. Dude. What a cool way to set up maybe Fallen Order 2 is to have Cal and maybe some of them pop up, right? What do you think we're going to get for 2021? I mean, in these next few months, you think it's just going to be dry again or? Well, you've got High Republic. So you're going to have High Republic rolling out, 
right? So these books, a lot of the books will drop in January. I'm talking movie games, shows. Movie games. I would tell you that Fallen Order 2 seems like it could definitely drop by next Christmas. Um, and there's also the possibility that something else happens before then, but I wouldn't put much stake into it. Um, I think the Boba show could come out before Mando. I think the Ahsoka show could come out before Mando. So, I mean, what if you had Rangers, Ahsoka, and Boba drop in next year? I wouldn't be surprised, man. I bet they're they're bleeding money with uh, with with Disneyland and Disney World. You know, not being able to be well, at that's full the capacity. Thing, that they have lost. Correct. That's that they have lost a lot in that vertical. And I think uh, you know, not to get too businessy or whatever, but uh, now nah, let's go for it. Doing... Well, so there's some research I've been ta- uh, going into with. Um, I'm gonna course... I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to the washroom real quick. Cool, cool, cool. So. I've been looking into the move that HBO Max did and Warner Media to put all of their films onto uh, HBO Max. Um, this was uh, obviously a big move. It made a lot of waves. There are a lot of people upset, but honestly, there are not a lot of people upset. It's a, it's a select group of uh, angry people from Hollywood. And Disney is currently, according to The Wrap and a couple other uh, Hollywood trades, <clears throat> Disney is currently looking into how to write new contracts for the films they are going to start shooting now and the shows that they're going to start shooting now and the whole idea of the new contracts is to have new bonus or incentive things put into the contract so the reason a lot of the uh hbo max or the rather the warner media people got mad at the move was they had signed contracts in the old system meaning like getting points on the back end uh you know if the movie hits a billion dollars in the box office they get a bonus or something like that right so those people are all mad the point is disney is fully aware that moving towards digital distribution and direct to consumer being as much direct to consumer as possible is the future and the longevity of that brand if they increase their disney plus subscriber numbers even let's say 30 percent in the next year of what they already are from a record-breaking year they will have enough monthly cash flow to almost produce unlimited amounts of uh content and and the back deals for talent could actually be better not worse but better than the deals that they had in the old theater system. I think the problem is we're just in this transitional phase and a lot of people are panicking and not necessarily understanding. The point is, buckle up, because there's about to be so much content on Disney Plus and just in general for Star Wars. Um, it's a it's a very exciting time, man. It, it, they, they, they have damn near unlimited resources and they are invested heavily in making this place make sense because the thing is they don't want you to think they don't even want you to be thinking of these other streaming services you know what i mean like they want to own the hype cycle one of the reasons that the marvel cinematic universe became as big as it did and grossed 23 billion dollars is because they figured out how to own the hype cycle endgame and uh in basically infinity war and endgame were a master class of hype cycle, building anticipation, and taking over social media. They owned it for like six months as we moved forward towards that film. With between the Marvel shows and the Disney or the Star Wars shows, Disney will have basically a wheel of constant hype and constant great contact. So they will own social media with these things. Uh, and I'm here for it. Like as a fan, it's pretty cool you know what i mean like we're gonna we're gonna be treated very well and we'll treat them back with subscription subscription yeah yeah Yeah. a churn rate that's that's rather long you know what i mean yeah that's the thing it's like it's like uh let's say you stop uploading on your youtube channel i mean why not have a consistent flow of videos constantly every day it's the same thing with 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 disney plus i mean why don't you have a new show coming out when the next one ends all the time Mm -hmm. And that way, no one will end their subscription. Yeah. And the thing is, if you Most think likely. about it, well, Bad, Bad Batch probably drops very probably February, early next man. Year. 
I yeah, so like we'll probably be talking, we'll be talking Bad Batch. We'll be doing weekly breakdowns of Bad Batch. Yeah. You know, I assume those episodes will be much shorter. You think probably right? Twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. But that Clone doesn't Wars. mean there won't be dope, and that doesn't mean that there won't be plenty to talk about. So Clone Wars, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. So we'll probably have that to start with. Maybe something in the summer, and then probably Boba and or Mando three, kind of, you know. But then that's not, dude. Then the next year. Brother, that next year they're dropping everything, like everything. Kenobi, Acolyte. Exactly, Kenobi, Acolyte, Ahsoka, Lando, Ahsoka, like everything. And there's so much more that they haven't even talked about, right? So like, we're just gonna be like, just constant. Yeah. Yeah. So, if anything, we can kind of enjoy this sort of beginning where we can think. And it does feel like the beginning. This feels like. This feels like Disney just bought Star Wars, or how it should have it felt. It does. I actually prefer to think of it that way. Let's just pretend that's what's going on. You yeah. know what I mean? It would be better for us all. Yeah, Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay, cool. Uh, we're not going to see a yeah. Force-sensitive Din. We would not have had an entire Ahsoka episode without being hinted at. Personally, we don't need him to be Epic Boba and both, and Bo will live. Yeah, I agree with that, Lil King. Man, I'd love oh, to see sure. Cal. That would be an amazing tie in hell. They brought cartoon character. Yeah. I think, <clears throat> yeah, I don't think... I don't think Din's going to be force sensitive. I know you you think that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, who knows? I who mean, knows, that's man. it's fun, right? Uh, yeah, he doesn't need to be for sure. He's a great character. I just think it would be kind of interesting. <clears throat> oh yeah, HBO Max. That's like their they have a streaming service now, right? Correct. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what the Snyder Cut's going to come out on. That's what I mean. Honestly, I love HBO Max. Like, not to chill super hard, but like they have all the Kurosawa films on HBO Max. Mm. They have old Hitchcock films. They have all the Adult Swim stuff. They have, uh, yeah, they've got a lot. So essentially, so you I need like Netflix, it. you need Disney Plus, and you need HBO. Yeah, I don't yeah, have so HBO. Netflix, I've never looked then, into it. Well, then, oh really? Oh, yeah, I would check it out. And then, um, if you think about it too, so many people have Amazon Prime. So you, I, I have Amazon Prime. Amazon. Yeah, right, oh, dude. The amount of people that have Amazon Prime in America is absurd. It's a lot of us. Well, you're a Canada too, so I guess in the North America region. Really? But, um, dude, it's absurd. Like, way mm. more than you would think. More people have Amazon Prime. I feel like Prime no one has Disney Amazon Plus. Prime, dude. <laughs> I feel no. like it's like the least amount of people in, in terms of like no, Netflix no, and no, Disney no. Plus. Let's, all right, now I'm curious. I got to look it up. I, I would venture, like, if we were just betting, like, if we were at the bar. I'd be like, I'll put money on there being say, more Amazon sub 20 Prime million. users. Under 20 no million. No way, dude. No way. Over 100 million, I'd say. Get Amazon no Prime way, dude. Members. Netflix is Remember, what, like 300 million? Yeah, Netflix is pretty crazy. 112 million, and that's just in the U.S. <sighs> that's just in the U.S., brother. That's more than Disney Plus, isn't it? That's what I was saying, yeah. So... <clears throat> Yeah, Bob so Iger said Amazon, Disney Plus is like what, like it was like thirty million in the first quarter of launch. Yeah, or something Disney like Plus that. Plus is headed towards. Yeah, they're getting towards a hundred. They're they're getting there uh, towards a hundred. But yeah, I mean, like, dude, Amazon <laughs> Prime is it's ridiculous, dude. Yeah, that's why Amazon Prime is worth so much money. It's a, or Amazon in general. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, so Jeez. the that streaming service. When, shout out shout out to streaming service sub subscriptions guys 99 cents a month yeah you'll be helping all the projects which you'll see uh one of them yeah in, uh, right a week. exactly exactly yeah we need to get some right, right please right. please yeah <laughs> it's everybody's trying to get on that subscription money a and it's it actually again it will i know it, it like for people right now it's like weird and everything but it'll actually be better for talent um than what's currently going on we just it, it we're just in a weird process so uh it's gonna work itself out and uh yeah it's going to be the new movie theater. Yeah, mm -hmm. at home. But the thing is, it allows us to do our thing. Like, we get to do breakdowns in the moment. You get to do a watch party. I do watch parties with people, like, live, bro. Then we can do our breakdowns right away. Like, it creates fun experiences, you know, and fun moments. So I don't do you think, think it would be more, more lucrative for them to do um, no subscription service, but they just put ads like a TV show. So let's say everyone in the world can access Disney Plus, but you so just monetize problem, it with right? ads. Mm -hmm. So here's the problem with that. The ad model has something that the subscription model doesn't have, and that is um, 
it's liability. Meaning, think about the adpocalypse on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Think about how other in other things influence the marketplace of ads. At the ad uh, selling and buying industry is it's scalable, so it's really cool in that sense because you can like super scale it up. But the problem is, it's it is uncontrolled completely by you. Like there are other factors, like ads, like we're in a a, a pandy right now right yeah so naturally if people have less money and that businesses are all losing money they're going to spend less on ads right. meaning it's just so it's it's not always constant subscription is different because a subscription especially depending on what the churn rate is a subscription is steady cash flow there is no yeah. liability yeah you know there's no I ebb mean? and so, flow of uh, if you guys didn't know, like for, for YouTube, it's like, you know, different months yield different um, ad rates. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. different formats, different subjects. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew this. I personally make more money on my Marvel videos than Star Wars videos. 100 percent. 100 percent. Really? The CPMs are much better with Marvel. That's weird. Hmm. I didn't know that it existed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, do you dude, if you knew what some of the CPMs were for like finance stuff and like some what some of these people are making hmm. on their cpms like for certain things is crazy dude. so yeah those of you guys who aren't in the youtube world um or behind it when you're a creator uh you actually get paid different amounts depending on what your channel is about yeah it's, it's interesting yeah. i don't know anything about that i don't know yeah it's the, it changes a lot it's um, uh, yeah and they're constantly i just know i don't make i don't do make it. diddly squat on my gaming channel and <laughs> So I, I figure maybe gaming is like the least, the lowest. I don't know. Yeah, gaming is tough, and I think depending on the game too. That's the other part, right? So it depends on the game for the CPM. <laughs> like it's wild, bro. Like, and I don't fully understand it, but I think Marvel as a brand is more mass appeal, and there's less drama associated with it. So I can understand why the CPMs are as high as they are. But like, I will make more on Marvel videos that have significantly less views because the Marvel CPM is like beautiful. That's bizarre. You know I mean? uh, that's, that's see, bizarre. I guess that's yeah. the interesting part about having a channel that covers different topics. You can, you can figure that out. I just have several yeah. different channels regarding about stuff that I know personally well, like Cobra Kai, uh, yeah, Star sure. Wars, Harry Potter, which my buddy runs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. So well, I don't also, actually like, know. Just super interested in that stuff. So like I dig into the analytics and I get super nerdy about it. You know what I mean? And I just I like yeah, kind of, I, I just kind of it's just fun. It's a fun game. You got to teach you know? me about the analytics. I never really got into it. I never. I still don't really yeah. understand it. I just. Oh, dude! I don't you wanna, know. You're speaking my language. Like, if people in my chat are probably laughing right now because they're like, "Did Theory just offer to have Josh talk about analytics?" Because it's like they know that I love talking about analytics. Yeah, so someday I we'll suck. Just do it. I don't. Yeah. I don't even know what the hell it just. It mean. I just. I mean. I just upload videos and, and that's it. And it's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it. We'll 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 go deep on it, dude. Because it's like I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know? Cool. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> do you think Boba is gonna die? Maybe. Finale better be at least 60 minutes. Yeah, apparently that's what it's going to be. What if a Dexter Jetster shows up? <laughs> hey, awesome. yo, buddy, pal. Right? <laughs> Ventress is between dark and light at this point, too. Also an old character. Ventress is dead. Yeah, she gone. She's dead, bro. She gone. Dooku killed him in canon. The ultimate reveal would be the sound of footsteps approaching the stone... And Luke's hanging lightsaber hilt from his belt coming into frame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. So. Right. Do you think we'll see an Inquisitor? I think they're all dead. Unless Moff Gideon is one. An old one who survived. Yeah. Or maybe he's got like a couple of them or something. Yeah, just or... chilling. Yeah. What if yeah. Grogu was sent back 850 years to the past via the world between worlds and grows up to become Yoda? No. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's uh-uh. Didn't Darth Vader use the ability to sense other Jedi when he was hunting them? Also, I think they gave Boba too much of a makeover to kill now. Mando Mercs wouldn't be happy. Happy holidays. Dude, you're telling me I'd be fired up if they killed Boba. Like, you're going to bring him back, do all this cool stuff, and then just kill him? I'll be furious! Yeah. 
I think they're going to make him a bad guy. I think they're going to make him go rogue. He's just going to do his own thing as Boba would normally do. Yeah, I'd be into it. I'd what if he gets it, the dark right saber now, and he just flies away with it? He's like, ah. That's the thing. Like, we have no idea, bro. Like, it could be so crazy. Like, if you really start to think about it, like, it could get real crazy. So. Yeah, dude. I don't think yeah. Boba. If you know Boba's character from Legend, he's not the type to ever like team up with anybody. He just will do his own thing. Yeah, and it seems like he's simping a little too hard for Din. There's got to be something going on there. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think there's definitely something going on. I'm calling it. We're both calling it, man. Definitely. Yep. For sure. Oh, God. I should get to studying right now for your final. Bro, the final is tomorrow for Mando. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go study. Uh, we'll always be here. Apparently, if you use Shazam during the scene where they let Mayfield go, it comes up as rest in peace. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So when they let Mayfield go is rest in peace. Oh, because he's apparently dead? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, could be. Boba maybe cuts his head, Din Djarin's head off right at the end of the episode. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I bet Luke shows up with R2 and we get an Ahsoka and R2 reunion. Oh, could you That'd imagine? Ahsoka's like, That'd be very sweet, I know that yeah. droid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if they want to have all of us crying for the whole weekend, then yeah, sure. They for the that, whole yeah. next year, man. Are you kidding yeah, me? Dude. Everyone's going to go sad. absolutely bonkers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping for something really cool like that. It's It's been a beautiful, cathartic season with all the fans. But yeah, of course we want a cool end note to, to all. I think it's going to happen, dude. You know? I, I really, I can feel it. I can feel it, dude. I mean... All signs point to yes. How can they not have a huge cliffhanger and something that's going to pull yeah. at heartstrings at the same time to keep you emotionally involved? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Let's do it, man. Let's bring it on. Mm -hmm. um, Cal is the Cal Katarn of the new timeline. Oh, maybe. But I'd, love cool. see, he, I'd love to see Kyle similar, in there. Yeah, he has similar attitudes or whatever, you know, I, a little bit of that snarkiness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm trade wins and cross thanks man yeah with the with the mace thing i think you sent that twice thrawn won't come he'll be for the ahsoka show had how old would luke be and right we might not even see ahsoka how old would luke be and what are the chances palpatine makes an appearance very slim luke will yeah, luke is slim. only um five years older than where we saw him in return of the jedi so right. that's what like 32 no right yeah right well, he was 19 no, younger, episode right? four he was yeah, he's only like 27 or something. The gap between four and five is, is it one year or two years? I think it's only one, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think it's only one. So then he'll be 20, and then there is, I think, a one-year gap. It says that he's 23 in Return of the Jedi. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So there's a two-year yeah. gap between five and six, right? Yeah. 19. Wow, so Han Solo is just chilling in Carbonite for two years. You're right. Interesting. What the hell has he been doing for two years, man? Being frozen, dude. Being a popsicle. Yeah, okay, so okay, so he's 23. Add five years to that, he's going to be 28. Let's say this is season two, so we add another year. 29. 28, yeah. 29. Perfect age, dude. Sebastian stands how how old? Yeah. He's thirty something. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he looks. Even if he's older, he looks like you know what I mean. He looks young. Yeah. Um. My two cents. Th uh, theory: Ezra and Sabine will show up mid-fight. Ahsoka and Bo too. Migs too, maybe, and maybe Migs dies. Thrawn shows up for the cliffhanger. I think someone bad. someone big has to die. Yeah, I think it has to be someone big. Yeah. Ryan, thanks, man. I would. It would be super awesome to bring all of these characters into the series finale. But my lord, is it legal? I will make it legal. Amen. Ezra will come back as a dark side user. Do you think episode this episode will be at least one hour? Oh, dude, I hope. Yeah, I hope, yep, man. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yep. 
Pro says Mace Windu is alive and is showing up 10 out of 10. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I mean, that would cause a huge dynamic between Boba and Mace. And then Boba wouldn't really care about Grogu anymore because he'd be like, well, screw this. Like, I don't... I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which would create like a like a little segue of. I think they're going to create different chapters for different characters all in one show in the next season, and I think this this right. is going to end with um, loose ends for all these different characters who have their own little adventures and missions and vendettas. Dude, yeah, I, it it does make sense, right? What about Quinlan Voss? I'd love to see Quinlan Voss. Ezra is the one Grogu saw in his vision, and Grogu goes to the dark side. Mando will die, and Bo-Katan will become the new Mandalorian. I think we might have three separate Jedi orders around this time. Luke, classic Jedi, and Cal's. Classic Jedi. What is that? Yeah, what is that? What if they brought I Kyle Katarn into the mix? Dude, I'm down for it. Love yeah, some Kyle. Character. What do you think? What do you guys think about the Bad Batch ending with them saving Grogu? <laughs> there is a rumor that Grogu well, is in the Bad Batch. Yeah, maybe, dude. Maybe they actually save him from the Empire. Yeah, it could be. You know, um, it seems like they're big. Man, on, we could you see know, Maul. We could yeah. see Ahsoka. Vader, Emperor, Obi Wan, everybody. Lots of options. The Bad Batch is essentially Clone Wars season eight. Let's be real. Yeah, dude. Let's yep. be real here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna call it Clone Wars season eight. <laughs> right. Uh, Even the logo like looks like Clone Wars. It's cool. Eh, the animation, everything's. Uh, hey, Theory and Josh, thanks for your streams. Brightens up my day a lot. Keep up the good work, dudes, and may the Force be with you always. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it, Ton. Cheers. Absolutely. Uh, my guilty pleasure is listening to you guys talk about the sequels. It's so intoxicating. Disney deserves the backlash for what they did to Luke. Um, they need to course correct. That's all. And I think they're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's fun when we talk about the sequels as well, though. I think it's pretty refreshing because we're we're good at uh, disagreeing, which is a talent. A I love the fact have. that you like them, and I love the fact that I don't just for the sake of if we're just looking at it for the sake of like an interesting conversation. I think uh, just, absolutely, yeah. It's not boring. Well, the thing that's the thing that's funny too is like it depends on what crowd I'm in that I will either be labeled because some people like in a certain conversation I'd actually be considered a sequel hater, right? Because there are people that I know that like love love those movies, right? And I'm just not there because I do think they're rather disappointing and i'm disappointed with them but i think that when you and i talk it's like the fact that you're further that my way disdain than I am, for right? them yeah so right right prominent so then i get to be like i get it's actually kind of funny because there's actually people on my channel that were beginning to be very upset at the amount that i crapped on the sequels so it, you've actually saved me because oh, now good. they're pumped that in our conversations i actually kind of stand up for the sequels a little bit so uh, yeah, it's just a funny kind of thing. That's good. That's cool, man. It's an interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. it's all uh, relative, right? right? Everything is relative right, exactly. in life. So, right. yeah, you know, and then I'm sure, you know, in, in, maybe next to someone else who absolutely despises the sequels um, you would more than like I do, a, I would right. seem would like seem a, like a Disney um, supporter. Yeah, or and, the, yeah. you know, the idea of Disney supporter isn't even a, a word. It's it's just. I look, man. Let me tell you something about Disney. I grew up loving Pixar. I grew up loving. And I know Pixar is a different faction from Disney or whatever, but it's owned by Disney. I grew up loving Mickey Mouse and all these. You know, for me, a lot of you know Disney Channel for me when I was a kid was like they had the best shows, like even Stevens, you know, uh, uh, the Weekenders, all this stuff. I grew up with with Disney. So I think Recess was also Disney too. Um, I grew up with Disney shows, and I went to Disneyland when I was. 10 years old um it was the only yeah. vacation where my divorced parents got together for, and and we all went as you know a family and uh it was a beautiful beautiful experience so for me i don't have a vendetta against disney i don't i don't hate them i don't love them i just they gave me a great childhood with their material and the people who created the shows are 
talented masterminds, but the people who are handling the money obviously are making these stupid decisions. And when it comes yeah. to something that I hold so close and dear more than anything else, such as Star Wars and George Lucas Legacy, I feel like they've betrayed that and they've gone against that. So for me, I'm not here to say Disney sucks or Disney is great. I'm just here to say, give me good Star Wars. Whether that's Disney or Fox or, or Warner or, uh, I don't know, Johnny's new company in the corner over there. I don't care. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. it's not, it's not about me disliking Disney or, or loving Disney. It's about just give me good Star Wars and that's all it is. So, uh, yeah. going back to our conversation, it's all relative with me. I'm seen as someone who doesn't like Disney or doesn't like the sequels and you are seen as someone who likes them. And then you on your own channel are seen as someone who doesn't like them. And then yeah, me exactly. in front of someone else may be seen as someone who does. It's, it's very interesting how everything is yeah. so relative. It is. It is. It is interesting. And as far as like the Disney thing is, it's funny because I actually probably think much less of Disney in general than you do because you have, you know, all these experiences with Disney. I had a little bit of an experience with Disney as a young person, but not really. And I am very critical of some of the things that Disney does as a mega corporation and the impact that they have on the world. I think that they I actually fully don't agree. Live, yeah, they don't live up to this brand they don't live up magical yeah 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 the brand that they present publicly yes and so i actually come down super hard on the mouse with all sorts of things but when right. it comes to star wars or when it comes to the ip i'm much more forgiving because that's not actually what i think we need to be freaking out about the most and, and these things are designed to be enjoyed and so even something like the sequels i just don't think it's necessarily worth the energy to get so upset and invested in what happened to fictional characters, my personal flavor of outrage is actually what they do to real human beings. You know what I mean? So um, it's just depends on what you actually care about. I think, you know what I mean? To, to, to the degree to which these things bother you. I would know? say that I would disagree. And I would say that to be upset about what they've done with these fictional characters is definitely justified because for a lot of people, these characters are a safe haven and they're, you know, the standard to look up to. When you break that mm -hmm. standard with your crappy storytelling and, and lack of research uh, for these characters who are held as a safe haven for people in a psychological, let's say, escape um, in times of, you know, turmoil or, or, or negativity or depression in their own lives to cling yeah. to and, and bring themselves up. When you destroy that and you remove that handle, um, you should be held liable. You know, it's yeah. not just a story anymore. It's, this is Star Wars. It's a, it's a, it's almost a religion for people. Mm -hmm. And it's a, as yeah. I said, it's a safe haven. It's a place for someone to feel comfortable and safe, sure. uh, in their own life and look up to a character that is more than, uh, just a fictional being mm -hmm. and in some essence save them and that's why this is so serious it's so important and it's so detrimental to not only their company and their um, their bank account but also yeah. to so many people's lives that look up to these characters in such a profound and meaningful way yeah and I think um, <clears throat> you know your perspective on it is super healthy and I think balanced I think maybe I was speaking more to the people that get so outraged or essentially brand their outrage or monetize their outrage of the films. And I was speaking more to the fact that that is insincere because it's not, if you're truly going to put all that energy and be that outraged on something fictional, I just think that's stupid. Because there's real things going on in the world that are potentially much more worth getting upset about uh, and putting your energy and time into, you know? And so I agree with you, and I think that it's fair to say that, yeah, storytellers and the people in our culture that are the gatekeepers to, to big stories should be held accountable and should take that responsibility seriously. But I think it's something else when the outrage of something done to fictional characters eclipses whatever outrage you might have towards actual things that this company is doing that could be affecting human lives yeah but again i don't really think that we're very far on this apart you know i, I wasn't necessarily speaking to you to your situation yeah you know no i feel you and i was just we're just spitting words man 
Just yeah, where's Ripping? Ideas, yeah. Where's Ripping? Um, do I think okay. Boss could make an appearance? Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be sweet. What if they show... Uh, what if the last show they didn't talk about was the show on Luke's school? Oh. <laughs> that'd be pretty cool, dude. That would be pretty cool. A show all about Luke's Jedi Temple. Wow. I would love it. I mean... I would absolutely love it, yeah. And they could do a lot of the fixing that we talk about could be done in that kind of a setup, you know what I mean? That'd be amazing. So, yeah, for sure. That'd be so cool. <sighs> it's a Mando show, guys, not Jedi Knights, a Star Wars story. Don't expect that many Jedi. Have you watched season two? Has the person that made that comment watched season two? Think about what that person just said. It's a Mando show. It's all about the Jedi and the Force, man, in this show. Dude. Yeah. What show are you watching, guys? Do you think we'll see Horizon? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> they get you with that. Yeah, I don't want to play that game. It looks so lame. I've never really been interested in it. <clears throat> uh, the Brownsville TX Prophet. Thanks, man. Uh, Danger. Thanks, dude. Uh, Mace Windu is going to fight Boba. He writes Booba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Booba Fett. Maybe that's uh, what they'll do with the female armor. I'm Booba we'll Fett. Approach that, yeah. I'm uh, Booba Fett. Link to Thrawn. Thrawn found. Thrawn fought the Dark Troopers to practice in an episode of Rebels. I can imagine a sudden lightsaber ignition. Everyone turns and a Dark Trooper splits in half, revealing Luke and. I don't think that would be the end, but I think that would be maybe. Because <laughs> that's awesome. That would be. Yeah, that would. Yeah. And then 20 minutes straight up of him just methodically just cutting. Just going absolutely berserk and insane. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I would love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, what about Ahsoka against Ezra, who is with Thrawn? This will allow another Jedi to arrive, Luke, and be an amazingly emotional fight for the fights. You right, so if you, get, you, if you get two bad guys, you get two good guys. Right? Yeah. Maybe. Perhaps. Do you think Cad Bane will be in Mando Season 3? That'd be cool. Yeah, come on, Cad Bane. Let's go! Uh, just <laughs> curious, how was the Darksaber first made? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know for sure. Nobody knows. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will tell you this, though. When you use a crystal from um, a pearl from a crate dragon, if you put that in your lightsaber, it screams. It makes a screaming noise when you move it, which is a lot like a dark Did saber. Did you ever so. hear Dave talk about how they created the dark saber, like behind the scenes? No. So, originally it was a, a vibro blade. So when Dave wrote the episode and had like early animation done for it, it was a vibro blade. And then when he showed it to George, George was like, "Well, a vibro blade can't really stop a lightsaber." Mm -hmm. So let's keep the design of it. Let's make it a lightsaber, but then let's keep the design of it. And then Dave kind of went back and was like, oh, okay, so let's make this like a, like a Mandalorian lightsaber. Like what would a Mandalorian lightsaber look like? And started to think about the like sharp edges, the way it sort of sings through the air and sort of the unique qualities about it. It's the coolest. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's so epic. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Um, I think Cal makes a lot more sense than Luke, who voices him. I'm not sur I'm not not Stan Shirley. Secondly, why would they choose such a prolific, prof prophilic actor for Cal Kestis? What is prof what's prophilic? Prolific is that what you said? You said prophilic. Prolific. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Maybe he meant prolific, and I don't think that dude's prolific. What's at prolific? All. It means like freaking epic. Like, a prolific actor would be, like, one that you heard the name and you'd be like, holy crap, like, Daniel Day-Lewis is prolific. Like, epic? You know oh, what I mean? he's not epic. Yeah, he's like, just, Leonardo he's just a... DiCaprio is prolific, yeah. Yeah, like, oh, he's just, dude, he's just a dude. He's just a yeah, survivor. He's just a yeah, he's nothing, there's nothing crazy special there. Thrawn to Gideon, rest in peace. Hey, Theory, fan of yours for four years, I've actually had a theory of my own that if Din is indeed Force-sensitive, him and Grogu could be a dyad. <sighs> Please, no more dyads. No more dyads. But I appreciate it, CCAP. Thanks for being a, a viewer for four years. How you, how's your feeling on diets? What's your feeling? My feeling? Yeah. I don't know. It was cool. Like, 
I don't know. It's it's a, it's a wasted potential again. You know, like mm. I wouldn't be mad if they if they further explained it because there's cool stuff that they can do with it. Mm -hmm. I almost feel as though the relationship between master and apprentice is almost always potentially a dyad, and that there becomes a sort of dyad relationship there because it's very similar, right, to the way that they can kind of feel each other. Like I remember the old Jedi Academy books or whatever, Young Jedi Knight or whatever, with, like, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. And they had a lot of moments of basically, no, like, not having to talk because they just felt each other in the battle. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's a cool concept, but unfortunately, it was used in Episode Nine to just try to make sense of bad writing beforehand. Yeah. So it's not used well it's sloppily used it's yeah um, but the but the concept itself is cool i feel like everything in the sequels was like a like a patch up you know yeah it sucks right like it's ugh, like someone like, okay they do this okay i'm gonna patch this up oh you did that i'm gonna patch this up and it's because you got different writers right so i mean it's like yeah exactly the heck. it was jj trying to make sense of ryan's for skyping and he's like okay we'll call it and then ray Adam, getting you know? all of kylo's powers just because they had that force telepathy thing and it's like yeah yeah and again yeah. like that's not even the worst thing it's just so sloppily done that you would have to find that out in a book it's totally irrelevant well it, it takes it, you out of it sort of takes you out of the yeah, story it's, it, it's, it's so far-fetched for star wars that it, it 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 makes you feel like okay this is not really what the heck of all the odds this happened like, come on well, plus, like, explain to me how she could absorb all of his training and yet not know more about him and, and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, his how memories and if, everything, yeah. if they were, yeah, exactly. Like, if they're in each other's minds like that, then, like, how does she Yeah, not the book said she, like, know? downloaded his blueprints for all of his powers yeah. and just because they well, touched whatever. Well, here's a whatever. flash for you. If she knows the training, who trained him? It was Luke! So how does she not know? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's, one of the main weird... things that <laughs> it's just, I'm like, what the heck? And I want someone to explain this in chat, please. If you enjoy the sequels and you understand them better than I do. Um, what's the deal with Luke wanting to blow up the tree? And then Yoda's like, <laughs> what are you doing? And then Luke's yeah, like, yeah. it's time for the, or whatever. Whatever he says, he's, I've seen it twice. I don't remember. He, he takes the torch to the tree. And he's like, I'm gonna destroy everything and then Yoda does the lightning thing blasts Luke away and Luke's like the Jedi text it's like dude do you have amnesia literally like five seconds ago you were about to put a flame to it all how does this make sense mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's it's just pretty sloppily put together that whole scene but, but I mean uh, like when you're writing think, that like how like how does yeah. that I don't know <laughs> yeah, it's weird, right? I mean, the thing is, Ray had already taken the text at that point. He so, didn't like, know that. Yoda yeah, but, knows. But he was a Yoda no. But knows. but but Luke was about to go destroy all of that. Uh huh. Yeah. Take mm -hmm. a flame and to it. Here's the other part of that that's weird. Let me. Can I talk? To, this is this always bothered me as well. Why does he put his Jedi robes back on to destroy the temple? Yeah. He's ne so when we first meet him on Oak Two, he's in the robes. Yeah. Then he takes the robes off. And then he puts them on to go burn the tree down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? He's like, it's time for the like, Jedi to end. Understand. I'm not a Jedi anymore. And then it's like, what? I don't get it. I don't. I just don't get it. So I need more. I need to understand what was going on <sighs> I don't in understand. his brain. I don't want to understand. Yeah, yeah. It's just kind of sloppy. It ruins it for me because whenever I, I see Yoda those movies. Scene, Yoda was funny in that scene. I liked him. I don't, what, what the hell? So Ryan's thinking behind that was that he used the original, original, original um puppet like the original even bef like for the empire strikes back that like th which wasn't the actual one used in the empire strikes back it was the original mold which i think the mold for the empire strikes back was used off of which that's why empire looks different than the one we saw in last jedi okay so it's like why would you use that why wouldn't you just use the one from empire um i don't know man i don't understand there's a lot of the stuff and I don't necessarily want to come down super hard on some of these judgments, right? But there's stuff like J.J. used lenses from the original film in 77. And in my mind, I'm like, why? Do you want to use shitty lenses? Like, what does that mean? You want to use 40-year-old lenses? Like, how, why does that matter? It doesn't does mean that, anything. Does make it a good movie now? Or, like, what? Like, it what's... doesn't make it a good movie, clearly. So, like, the point is, though, 
everybody's got different things that they think are cool and they want to brag about. I, I don't know why that matters to these people. So, you know, but I'm not going to necessarily sit there and judge it. But yeah, it was stupid. I'll judge it. I'm a Star Wars fan. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. You're like, mm, I'll do that. Uh. I'll judge it, dude. 100%. Yeah. yeah otherwise, yeah. what the hell am I here for? For sure. To just fair. Yeah. eat and consume everything yeah. they know. But it's funny that they do stuff like that and they think it's so cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, who cares? Yeah, no one cares. Well, maybe some. Maybe they care, you know, but that doesn't. Yeah. Anyways. The vast majority of people do not care. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't Cara Dune let the New Republic know about a chance to take out some Imperial remnants, or would it be too risky since they are rebuilding? It's an interesting question. It is. I think we might see more of that in the Rangers show. Sure. Yeah, sure. Before the Darksaber was a thing, Mandalore was whomever had Mandalore's helmet. Boba currently has it and has a claim to the title. He has the uh, the Fett clan helmet. There are a bunch of different clans, right? So they really... Um, it's like Game of Thrones. It really is, the way they're doing it. Well, his claim is more based on Jaster Muriel, right? Who is more true of a Mandalorian, I think, than yeah. Bo? Well, that's the claim. Yeah. It's it's very Game of Thrones, right? It goes like into some weird Each stuff. one comes from a lineage. Yeah, so we got we got Bo Katan. Like, why did John have a better claim than even uh Daenerys? Because in Targaryen culture, the first son of the first son has a claim before the daughter of the first son. You know what I mean? So it's all like political and whatever. So, yeah. So, I think if anyone has more of a right to the throne in terms of like blood purity, let's say, it would be Boba. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bo has a claim just kind of through the fact that she was probably ruling prior to the purge, right? And that she had the saber. And she was gifted it, and she 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 brought all the she clans. She was gifted together, it. Yeah, whatever. it doesn't it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in it's the, not a true claim. No, it's not a true it, claim. But we do see that she's still feeling herself, so she's still trying. You know. I think the true claim is, is Boba. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun to watch those two try to battle it out, though. Oh, Boba would kill her. She's pretty good, dude. She's oh, great. She's pretty good. She is yeah, lethal. Boba's she Boba. is great. But yeah. but let's not get it twisted, man. Boba's Boba. All right. Yeah, Boba's Boba. Agreed. There's no messing with the Fets. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. His backpack's got jets, dude. I don't care who you are. Yeah. Okay. He was superior to Jedi. I don't care where are you from. You ain't gonna touch this there Boba. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yep. It's fun. Before the dark saber was a thing, Mandalore. Right. Uh, I believe the Jedi will find Cal Kestis. Uh, the Jedi, the Jedi Din will find his Cal Kestis, not Luke, as Disney is scared to touch him and not Ezra. He is being saved for the Ahsoka. Mm. Disney is scared to touch Luke. <laughs> not from where I'm sitting. In, yeah, right. Like, kind of feels like they touched him in all. Did the you bad miss the ways. last five years? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, how are they scared again? Jesus, yeah. yeah. That's some really hard stuff for me to watch the uh, the behind the scenes for the Last Jedi when Ooh, don't Mark Hamill was crying, and like his uh, his commentary on everything. Oof. Like, how could you guys leave that in there? Like, do you, dude? I know, right? Well, that's the thing is like, it's tough for me because I think almost if you look at the the documentary. Um, the director and the, the Jedi, or director and the Last Jedi, whatever. It mm -hmm. almost feels like the people that put that documentary together, like, we're enjoying. They knew the well, they knew the irony. Like they, I feel, and maybe it's just the it, it hits different, but like I almost feel like those people knew they were making this big ironic thing, because otherwise, why do they have so much of Mark complaining and stuff? You know what I mean? It almost like, feels it like feels there was a division there, like the people like who signed correct. off on putting that in. They were like, "Dude, we need to let you guys know, like this wasn't a unanimous thing. It's kind of just exactly. what Ryan said, it, and we just, right, you know, we right. have to listen to it, but it's not what we wanted." Right, that I got right. some, I got some, some emails from people that claim to have worked there. Uh, I don't know mm -hmm. how legit it is, but they said, you sure. know, really, we didn't have a say in anything. 
It was just, oh, yeah. it was Ryan, and apparently he was like, he wasted and spent so much money from what they said, mm. I don't know how true it is, mm. and just like was like building all these like sets, and, and that was something George Lucas commented on too when it came to The Last Jedi, where he was like, why, why is he building all these sets? Like, this isn't 77. Yeah, well, he also just had a stupid script. I mean, the script is stupid. It has, it's, it's got so many loca. It's stupid. It's just he overwrote it. Like, here's the thing. Like, Ryan's a good creative, but the problem was nobody like just looked at this thing and said like, "Hey, man, like, I know you're like the the hottest thing right now, but like, this script kind of sucks, dude." And mm-hmm. you need to tighten this up. And if you've ever seen the red letter media videos where they're breaking it down. There's all these scenes of Ryan like saying like none of this works, the impact doesn't hit, you don't feel it the way you should at the end and all this stuff like in some moments and maybe they were moments of insecurity, he knew he was messing up. Like he knew it. It's a garbage script. Hmm. You know what I mean? So <laughs> Yeah. Watch that stuff, man. It's I weird. feel like the sequels will be spoken about until the end of time. It's just um Until the end of the time. Yeah. And by the way, this is my biggest criticism of Ryan because, uh, you know, I actually don't uh, blame Ryan as much. I think he's a real douchebag. And mind you guys, this is, this, is, this is coming from a guy who, you know, likes, likes the sequels. Yeah, so. I know, right? It's funny. So this is my take on Ryan is the one thing I will say that I absolutely agree with all the, the critics about is that Ryan knew exactly what he was doing as far as he intentionally created a divisive movie because he wanted to be yeah. talked about for the rest of time. And so, again, I don't necessarily get super down on him because he got hired to do that. He's just doing his job, whatever. Yeah. But make no mistake about it. He purposely made the movie divisive because he wanted people like Theory and myself to talk about it for the rest of time. He did that. Mm-hmm. That is... I, I I feel maybe that the best thing flow. we can do is just never talk about it again. Why don't we do that? Yeah, why don't Why don't we let it, this be the last moment that we ever? If this If the subject of of the think last that's Jedi, possible, though? I really think I think it is. I will make, I will make a conscious effort to never ever bring it up again after this podcast. To just okay. not talk about it unless someone is really really wanting to talk about it. Then okay, but. Sure. I'll never go off. I never want to go off in tangents. Let's list. You want to do that? Do you see what I mean, though, about him? We keep immortalizing him. You're right. You just made me realize. And it's it's immortalizing what he did. Sometimes it's important to talk about things that went wrong and make sure that they, so they don't happen again. But yeah, you're right. You know, it's it's um maybe this is a new day for us. Maybe we just, you know, what, what, what do you think? Or we can just Chat. try to we can just try to. Go, get past it really quick when it comes up. You know what I mean? We don't have to go in. Let's do that. About everything he did. Let's you know do that. I mean? Yeah. Because I think yeah. that's kind of what he wants is he wants it every time it comes up to be like, Oh, Ryan, you know, um, and he's immortalized. Yeah. To that. You know, you, you, dude, you know what? Okay. Hey, from this moment onwards, let's just do our best that if the sequel, this topic of the sequels comes up after this discussion, after this moment in time, um, we will just try to, move by it as quickly and efficiently as possible and just just uh not embellish and go into these details and this because i get emotional about it and that makes me talk more about it and you're right man you're right so yeah i'm down i'm down we'll give it we'll give it a shot we'll give it a shot we'll We'll see see how it goes yeah see what power this this uh ryan johnson has yeah no no way no way no no power over me Right. So, you anyways, no power. Here. Okay, here we go. Um, do you think the Empire's use of Grogu's blood will tie into the sequels? For example, <laughs> <laughs> yo, how about that? <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Somebody's got to clip that. That is funny. That's funny. Uh, for example, how Snoke was created. Yeah, I've thought a lot about that. Maybe, you know, Grogu's blood will go into there and, and create Snoke. But I think a lot of people will, will be kind of upset about that, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, we'll see. I mean, I think actually where it's at right now is fine with me. If they never go any further into it, I'm good with it. Uh, I would hate to start to feel like they're purposely going there just to try to band-aid it. That would suck. So, um, yeah, 
just I would say just be sensible about it. Continue to treat it with the the respect that that our new creators have. Uh, I'm not worried either way. <laughs> Chat's going nuts. That's funny. I mean, I, we love you guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, will we ever see a Kylo Ren series? You know, I hope so. Kylo Ren was Ben Solo. Or, yeah, I yeah. think Ben, uh, younger Ben, is is more probable than Kylo. Although yeah. I have been interested in Kylo before Seven. Actually. You know what I mean? I'd like to yeah, know young, a little bit more ben. about. Oh, you mean Kylo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kylo, because he does get a reputation rather quickly. So, you know, I assume he was doing some horrible stuff, bro. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. Hey, theory. How do you think the discourse would be between Boba and Mace Windu if they were to say bring him back? Do you support them bringing Mace back? Yeah, I support that. I mean, I'm trying to do that in a fan film, so um, I support it for sure. I would love it if they did it in canon. I think it would be so cool. If Mace was the most powerful, I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense for him to die, you know, just like that. Yeah. So correct. Yeah. Um, and the way I bring him back in in my sto in my fan fiction story, my fan film story. Um, it's pretty cool. So you guys will see. What if Anakin altered the security holograms to show him killing the younglings, but he actually wiped their memories and aided in their escape? No. What? <laughs> the, he had to do that so that he could harness the power, the true power of the dark side. The Jedi, yeah. m the Jedi will be Mace. Makes more sense with Boba. Reckon Thrawn could show up with the First Order. I don't think it's the First Order no. yet. No, it's not the first order yet because mm -hmm. we haven't even gotten to the Battle of Jakku. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. So the Keep first it up. order doesn't form until after all of that. Right. So, yeah. Thanks, Braden. Darth Jar Jar will. Yeah, I'm not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a theory for a while that at the end of the show, Mandalore will become the leader of Mandalore, becoming the next Mandalore the Great. Would be cool. Mm. Chad, do you guys want to see Mando become the next leader of Mandalore, or would you rather see Bo or Boba? That's going to be a, a contentious election. And do you think we're going to Camino, Nar Shadda, or um, Mandalore, or somewhere else? My Why? bet is on Camino currently. That'd be cool, man. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it does, yeah. Why would they use someone like Cal when such a small portion of the audience knows who he is? Oh, I don't think... I don't think that matters. It's not like they're just adhering to uh, fans in this Mandalorian series, I think. Yeah, and I think you underestimate how big that character is. That game was one of the most popular games of that year, and probably one of the most popular Star Wars games of all time. How yeah, many I agree. copies did it sell? I think it was, was it 20 million? Or was it, was it 10 million? It was, how many? it was 10, 10 to 20 million, I think. 10, it says 10 mil. 10 yeah. mil. So it's probably plus that by now. So it's probably like, like headed towards 15 or something. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I know that's God of War lot, hit 20. Guys. Over 20. Yeah. And so that's like a lot. And even the people that didn't play were aware of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's, I think he's actually a pretty popular character. But it's a, it's a fair point. Luke is obviously more popular. Yeah. Saber color question. What is the difference between blue and green? Obviously, red bleeds. Whites are purified. Reds and purple is for bad mofos. Uh, green is basically you're strong with the Force. You're Jedi Consular. And blue is you are a Jedi Guardian. So you're kind of all around. But you're... Um, uh, wh what's that word? Uh, master of none. Uh, Jack of all trades. Master of none. Is that what that is? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yep. that's kind of what like a blue is. And then green Makes is sense, like... Yeah. I would say green is a level up from uh from blue yeah i think in legends it was a little more strict actually there was some was, yeah real yeah to that nowadays it's, a, it's probably a little bit more just loose with it but yeah yeah that's why yoda qui-gon and luke have a green mm, so yeah almost more of a personality thing maybe than anything you know what i mean that's what they say it is now but also uh yeah in legends you could choose your crystal color true which is cool. Different crystals had different colors, which is sweet. Now it's yeah. just kind of whatever your your force affinity is. Yeah. Um, I had a theory for a while that at the end of the show, Manda will be the leader. Yeah, maybe. Um, 
Boba shows up and saves everyone for profit. <laughs> you think like Luke hired him or something? No. Yeah. I think I think Boba's gonna go rogue. Yeah. Or dies. I really think something. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Weird. Yeah. Luke shows up like Darth in Rogue One. Oh, how sweet, dude! Whoa! Oh, just absolutely man. murders the dark troopers. Force powers, oh, throws his man. lightsaber, just goes insane. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's something a lot of us haven't seen: is how powerful a Jedi can be. Who's, uh, yeah, let's say yeah. filled with emotion. True, 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 true. Yeah. Keep that in mind. For yeah. uh, I've had the theory for a while that. That at the end of the Mandalorian, the Mando will become the next leader of Mandalore, the next Mandalore the Great. I think Rogu will eventually take the throne. What? Eventually, yeah. Grogu, maybe, maybe in fifty years so. or something. Yeah. Because Yoda maybe. said when he was dying, when when Yoda was dying, he said, um, um, "For nine hundred years, have I trained Jedi or something like that?" And he was like, "What mm -hmm, nine mm -hmm. something?" So I mean, what at the age of or for 800 years have I have I trained Jedi. So and he was about 900 so that means what when he was sub 100 he was already training Jedi. So the next 50 yeah. years Grogu's going to be Was he just doing the old man thing though where they were like back in my day, you know what I mean? Like is he how nah, truthful is that? Like I are think all it was the legit. ghosts like being like come on Yoda. You know what I mean? Like Come on Yoda, come you on, were a bro. fetus, dude. Like Yeah, yeah. What are you talking <laughs> bro, about? Bro, you ain't you weren't doing nothing back then. Bro. You were still sucking yeah. on a soother at that age. I, mean, I remember at the temple <laughs> I had to give you milk. What the hell? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. funny. Little baby Yoda yeah. teaching me. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah. Senile. No, um maybe he goes through a gro growth spurt in the next fifty years. Yeah. I don't know. Mace had Mace in the in Legends Mace uh I think in Canon too, Mace had actually surpassed all of the masters that were teaching him when he was a teenager. Makes sense. So Um I've had the theory for a while. Right, right, right. Palpatine's lightning in the theater was yeah, it was pretty sick, that's for sure. Well with Palpatine's lightning anywhere is sick, especially in the theater. Um Andrew, thanks, man. I love the ST the sequel trilogy AT AT chat. What? This this the S T A T A T chat made video a while ago about how what? S T what's I an what? <laughs> about how ESB killed Star Wars and Bro, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm sorry. Um Mando's body language when he was on the tanker when he was about to be bombed his message to Moff Gideon about Grogu's importance force sensitive could be who knows Darth KSO I, I agree man do you know when we're getting Andor no I don't it could be even next year dude I don't know I really hope we see Mando in The Mandalorian and we actually have a bigger focus on The Mandalorians in general for Season 3 and onward. Yeah, agreed. I agree. Yeah. I'm sending you yeah. a Dex yeah. Jetster comic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You can send it to my email, man. I, I closed my mailbox. Uh, what's your great. opinion on Catherine Kennedy? Uh, I've talked about this way too many times, so I'm not going to get into it. Uh, why was Ahsoka so quick to attack Din and she didn't even know if he was bad? What would have happened if it was someone who could defend themselves? Hmm? What's the question? I don't understand. Uh, well, why, why did Ahsoka attack Din? Well, I think she was just trying to subdue him and then he, also he... She, she she knew that he was yeah, tracking she, her down and like yeah well also she's out in the wild like think about it she's out in the wild she's she just gave an ultimatum to the magistrate mm -hmm. and a freaking mandalorian is out there chilling like yeah. she Come on, probably bro. just thinks that puts that's two a new bounty. together yeah yeah she's like this dude ain't here at the top. boba allowed <laughs> Cobb I mean? to keep his armor so that he can watch to see who comes for boba fett sequels are disjointed trash ignore them that's actually a good theory yeah it's actually a good theory i i've thought about that too is that maybe it's bait 
I haven't thought about that. That's really cool. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mr. Nut. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. We still got, uh, or we still got time, or should I wait? No, we got time, bro. Yeah, go do your thing. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll be right back. Din kills Gideon, wields Darksaber, and rules Mandalore. Isn't this the way? Bo is a better fit, but this surely is part of Din's ancient beliefs if he is the one to take the Darksaber from Gideon. I mean, I could see how you'd say Bo is a better fit, but I think... Yeah, she is a better fit in terms of her overall psyche, but I think I think Boba's lineage is a better fit. It's more true. You know what I mean? And you might disagree. Um, thank you, Mr. Vasquez. Uh, do you think Yoda will appear in the Kenobi series? Yeah, I think so. For sure. There's no doubt, man. At least his voice or something, or, or what he's up to. Do you think we'll see Gideon in the Bad Batch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think they're they're really taking the George Lucas approach in the sense that they're making all these stories and then they're going backwards and they're 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 filling stuff in and telling, telling you know smoothing it out. If May survives, where has he been? Same with Grogu in the sequels. Well, I think he's been hiding in the Outer Rim or something, just maybe building his own Jedi Order. Dave Filoni is low key going to bring Plo Koon back as the Jedi who answers. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, is Josh going to join the watch party? Uh, yeah, so afterwards he's going to call in and uh, we'll do the whole thing. It'll be fun. All of us is a big Star Wars family. Jakku was a Star Wars fan family. So uh, Jakku was in the first year post Return of the Jedi, so it has already happened. Last Jedi sucks. Either of the two most probable Jedi showing up represents big problems Luke or Mace are both going to have to fight Boba. Thoughts? Oh, if Luke and Mace fight Boba, that's that would be a fight for the century, dude. Have you heard fight Luke Boba? and Mace? <laughs> yeah. That'd be crazy. Mace would have to die. I'm sorry. It just... He can't kill two fets. That's just stupid. Yeah, that would be a little much, right? I I wouldn't like Mace. I'd be like, what the hell, dude? What's wrong with you? <laughs> why, why are you defending yourself, bro? Uh, have you heard the radio dramatizations of episode four five and six they have many hours of extra scenes and are considered canon by george lucas so here's how i think canon works in my so i understand what the new canon is but in my mind whatever george lucas deemed as canon is canon to me mm. so all of the revenge of the sith novel like the 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 prequel novels and the all of those like labyrinth of evil all that stuff i think I, in my mind those are canon to me but I know in, in if we're talking about the real world or whatever now, it's not canon. But in my mind, it is. Um, but yeah, those dramatizations, I haven't listened to all of them. But I have listened to some of them. And they actually have so much more in there than the movies or the books. Battle of Jakku occurs in 5 ABY four years before The Mandalorian. One year after Return of the Jedi. 5 ABY. So it's already happened. Battle of Jakku. Wait, what? Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. I'll I'll double Operation check. Operation Cinder has true. already yeah, all this stuff is already Operation Cinder happened, but did Operation Cinder happen before the Battle of Jakku? Gallius Rax and all these guys, I think that's already happened. Well, how long after Five years. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's that it is interesting and that does change things. I'm reading my own fan fiction comic set in the Old Republic. Revan fights Tar Vizsla in one of the story arcs. Thoughts? It's cool. Tar Vizsla is before Revan, though, isn't he? If he's the first Mandalorian Jedi, then he has to be. Yeah, he's way before. Well, no, because no, because he's not Mandalorian. He just has that Mandalorian helmet. Revan? Right. Yeah, Revan's not Mandalorian, right? Mm-hmm. Tar is. Tar is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jakku in the Mandalorian Thrawn's death. Wow, so yeah, apparently they're right. The Battle of Jakku was five years after Endor. Ye. Meaning it has already happened. Ye. Wow. Could Gideon be the son of Mace Windu? 
No. They're like... They're like almost the same age. Right. They may be like... No, no, actually maybe 15 years apart. If Mace was like early 40s, late 30s in Revenge of the Sith, I would say... Mm, I'd say early 40s. Yeah. I Dooku mean, was I the oldest. Dooku is older than Palpatine. Oh, really? I believe so. Huh. I yeah. guess that makes sense, huh? Yeah. And someone correct me on that, please, if uh, I'm wrong. But, yeah, from what I remember. Do you think Gideon's going to die this season? If he dies, he's going to die by Thrawn, in my opinion. Uh, digitally de-aged Luke is less interesting than actual aged Mace Windu. Than actual aged Mace Windu. Okay. Yeah, I think what he's saying is like, if you think about it, they'd have to de-age or recast for Luke, but Sam Jackson is actually the perfect age. To oh, right, yeah, you wouldn't play. need to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. I want my boy Kyle Katarn back, but set his Jedi Knight series to after the Rise of Skywalker, and there's much more post-sequel trilogy lore established. Well, the thing with Kyle is that it takes place at the time of The Mandalorian right now, so it's and, and they're drawing on a lot of the same storylines from JK2, so, I mean, I feel like it wouldn't make sense to put him in there, you know, right now. Right, yep. Moody teenage Grogu. Would Boba really care about the throne? He said it himself. He is just a simple man trying to make his way in the galaxy. Yeah, you're right. I don't think he mm -hmm. gives a crap. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's trying to get the dark saber for someone who wants it. Yep, could be. Maybe that's Thrawn. Maybe that's I don't know. Boba will help Mando navigate through Kaminoan tunnels to find Moff Gideon, since Boba grew up there and will remember. That'd be cool. I'd be down with that. Uh, in the show, The Acolyte, do you think that, which I'm super excited for? Do you think there's a chance we could see a Yoda in his prime, since he will probably be about 500 years old? Yeah. Sure. I yeah, think absolutely. so, man. Could, for sure. sure. Mm -hmm. There's all co sorts of cool stuff they could do with that. Yeah. And yeah, Yoda being around makes it completely possible. Yeah, I think he'll be about 600, 700, about 650 years old. Uh, A nice ripe During the Acolyte time, 600 years old. Um, or if it's 200 years out... From the Phantom Menace, and then the Phantom Menace to Return of the Jedi is uh, uh, 35 years. What is the Phantom Menace to Return of the Jedi? Chat? Can we get an analysis on that, please? Phantom Menace to Return of the Jedi? Yeah, so that's from Revenge of the Sith. It's, uh, let's say, 20, and then it's 25. And it's, it's about 35, 37 years, I think. So 900 minus 37 is 873. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, minus 200 is 673. Yeah. So Yoda yeah, would be yeah, in his yeah, 600s, yeah. maybe 650, around the time of the mm -hmm. Acolyte. Correct, yep. I'm just a simple man trying to wake my way into the universe. Uh, hey, dude. Oh, damn it. I lost it. Come on. Hey, dude, you've gotten me through some tough times, and you're helping me now again. Now, I know this is unrelated, but your content makes a difference, dude. Thank you, Henry. I appreciate that. I'm happy to entertain all of you, and I'm happy to um, find friends in all of you for myself, too. You know, you guys make me wake up every day, and uh, I couldn't be happier my life so uh, i'd love to pay it forward and i hope i'm doing that and with all the projects that i'm trying to accomplish and i know josh loves it too heck yeah man heck yeah yeah so we're, we're all eternally grateful for you um what if ytt's film is about Afra getting artifacts from titan it would fit his style i think i think taika is going to go old republic i think he's going yeah i think he's going back in the day maybe even yeah. before old republic definitely definitely possible right i mean that's the thing like we could get i've been thinking about 
because isn't there a thing where like there's the force sensitives and they're all on Tython, but it's like too much. Like the non force sensitives are causing imbalance. And so don't they kick all the non force sensitives off the planet? Yeah. That seems like something Tycho would love to to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just yeah. seems so weird and like up his alley, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Can we all be okay with a retcon of the sequels? Also, big fan. Cheers from Newfoundland. Thanks, man. Shout out, fellow Canadian. Did you like how I said it properly? Because I'm Canadian, Newfoundland. Look, I'm American. I don't. Know yeah, you, what you Americans, you Americans is. would say Newfoundland. Yes, we New, would say Newfoundland. some other butthole country. That's what we probably say. To Don't insult Newfoundland. It's a Sorry, beautiful place that I've never been hey, to, but I hear nice things. Newfoundland is great. New, I'm sure it's terrific. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks, man. Um, yeah, I'd be fine with a retcon of the sequels, 100%. You think Satine... Yeah, I would, I would not be 100%. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. You think, you think Satine will be okay in Kenobi as a flashback? What do you think about that? People have been asking me about that, too. I'm cool with flashbacks. But to Satine. Sure. Mm. Yeah, he might be remembering. You know, maybe he's having a nice dream, and uh, Satine is, like, kissing him or something, and then, yeah, yeah. boom, saber up. through her back, and it's Maul mm. standing there. And then he wakes up, and he's like... <gasps> okay, yeah, if they do it like that, I'm down. Yeah, why not? Cool. Please read my earlier super chats. Darth Caesar, I think no. I've read it by now. Another one, another one like that. I hate that. I like, know. Just, I hate. Yeah. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say. Yeah. Just anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, but the the thing is, I've, he sent that at seven forty, and it's now seven forty seven. So it's seven minutes. So I've, I've probably read it by now. Yeah. Um. Thank you, Darth Caesar. Lord Caesar. Do you think the Lego Holiday Special is actually hinting at a possible time travel story in canon? No. No. I don't think so. No. What if before the sequels there's a war in the Unknown Regions within the Imperial Remnants between those loyal to the Sith and those who aren't? I've thought a lot about this, too. Hmm. This would be interesting. Yeah, we don't know because much about the Unknown Regions. Right, right. Yeah, it would be really interesting to see a group. I've always thought it would be interesting if there were like Imperial Remnant people that were like not down with the Sith and they actually thought Palpatine had done like horrible and the fact that he was a Sith was the, was a problem. Mm -hmm. And then there'd be other people like Pride who were like, nah, man, the Sith was where all the power came from. I wish we would have like known more. We could have helped him. You know what I mean? Or yeah, whatever. True. So with Exegol, coming into play at least partially it, it, yeah it's kind of an interesting thing to explore maybe you know yeah i agree um boba has changed in the eu fett never grew as a character pa past return of the jedi but john and dave are giving him us a new version a redeemed boba um oh grew as a character you mean he kind of always stayed the same possibly uh I, you know what? There's only been a few episodes with Boba, and I wouldn't be so quick to say that, okay, they're really, you know, giving him, like, this character arc, making him, like, all nice and, like, oh, I care yeah, about you, Din. I think there's more to this, that. man. I think we're going to get, you know, a rude awakening about Boba, and we're going to see how nasty he actually is, and that's that's the Boba we, we all know and love, right? So there's a certain a coolness about that when you, uh, you just follow your own path, in a sense, like Qui-Gon Jinn. But Boba's is a little more um, wretched, as he says. Remember? Mm -hmm. In Chapter 9, wasn't established that everyone thought Mos Pelga was wiped out, so Boba didn't know the town or Cobb existed till Mando went there. Mm. I think Boba knows all, bro. Yeah, that's... I don't know about yeah. that. What if when Luke and Leia paused in Rise... In R O S W. Uh, R O S W is that Rise of I guess Rise of Skywalker. Yo, so yeah. R R O S. When they were practicing lightsaber battle, they sensed Grogu. That time line up. Huh? No, she just she just he 
she she beat him up. He wasn't expecting her to go like you know to be that good. Yeah. Yeah. Boba Fett will instantly fight either Luke or Mace. One causes his suffering in the Sarlacc, and in the other instance, his father. The other one has killed his father. Either way, Boba is p off, p offed. True. That's true. Either way, he's gonna be mad. Almost no matter who shows up, he's gonna be mad. Unless it's Cal, and he's like, "Who the heck's this dude?" Right. Yeah. Who's this guy with the red, the red quaff? Yeah, I'd be like I don't quaff like hair. hair, and then he's just like freaks out. He's like, oh, "I don't have hair." You shouldn't either. <laughs> Disintegration. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. Um, Ahsoka classifies herself as a Jedi when Windu asks her when she captured Maul. If she did it as a Jedi, she replies with, not yet. Also, first dono. Thanks, Starkest mm -hmm. Light. Mm -hmm. It is interesting that she says not yet, implying that she's on a path or something. True. True. See, it's funny how those little quotes, those little lines by different characters really stick out in your mind. Um, yep. Shout out to Sam Jackson for acting so well. What Mace told Anakin was to wait in the chambers so he could make him a master after he defeated Sidious. think it's pretty cool and adds to the tragedy. All right, yeah. Well, he would have gained his trust, and he would have definitely made him a master. And one of the reasons that Anakin wanted to be a master wasn't necessarily just for the title, but it was to get access to the um, the restricted the section. Secret, uh, yeah, the, yeah. In yeah. the archives, which had, you know, the knowledge that he was seeking uh, regarding to save Padme, right? We have to remember, he didn't care about the Jedi. He didn't care about the Sith. He didn't give a crap about Palpatine's plans. He just wanted to save Padme. And whoever would get him to that quickest, he would work for them. Yeah. The only problem is that he fell into that and, and you know. Anyways, could never kill Palpatine ever because he became too weak. Until the very end where he had, you know, killed himself doing it. Um what if Yoda and Grogu species evolve into like Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we see what they turn into, so I mean Yeah. It's not like he's gonna start spitting fire. Right. Uh for someone who hasn't seen Rebels, what's Thrawn's role? <sighs> Thrawn in Rebel? Yeah, so he hasn't seen Rebels. So Thrawn is basically like this extremely calculating machine who is in control of the Imperial of a faction of the Imperial Navy, I would say, which mm -hmm. is under his command. Um yep. you he studies you, he studies his enemy more than anyone else to the point of almost befriending them, uh down to even studying their art. And learns yeah. as much as he can about them in order to defeat them. He never panics. He never caves under pressure. Um, he is a literal machine. And in every aspect, he's like an elite being. Mm -hmm. He's like the Spock of Star Wars times 10. Yeah. And he, I think the reason he's so significant as a character is because in the novels... Before the sequel trilogy, the novels that Timothy Zahn wrote in the Heir to the Empire series were considered by most fans to be the canon sequels to Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. And Thrawn is literally the heir to the Empire. He yeah. takes over the Empire after Palpatine. Now, that doesn't happen in the Disney canon, but in Rebels, the character is brought back into canon, and he is tasked by Palpatine originally to snuff out the rebels he's literally just tasked with stopping the rebellion yeah. so he basically just gives uh palpatine gives him this massive fleet and is like stop the rebellion and thrawn mostly does he's actually ahead of most of them by understanding that the rebellion is not just a bunch of little rebel cells little weenies. but is rather a big thing yeah mm -hmm. um and then he is tasked with capturing ezra bridger which he does yeah and bringing Ezra Bridger before the Emperor, which he does. Um, and then that is the the last time we see him is when Ezra and him fly off with the Purgles. Right. Right. How would you feel if Ezra Bridger made a return? It'd be cool. I mean, if you're yeah, bringing Thrawn sure. back, you're bringing Ezra back. So, I mean, yeah, everyone's going to be like, well, yeah, where, where the heck is he? They left together. Yeah, and to... To be honest with you, at this point, if you doubt Ezra coming back, then you don't really understand the 
the sort of controversy with what Rahul Cooley is doing. So the whole idea of this is, regardless of whether Rahul is Ezra or not, he is absolutely spoiling the fact that Ezra is coming. You know what I mean? So just think about it a little. Just think about it. Right. Well, his guess is as good as ours. Um, how would you feel, uh, what, what, what kinds of poor writing and bad plots will we find in the upcoming, yeah, I'm not reading that. Seems like a super positive person that wrote that out. No, I just, I'm just not going to read anything inappropriate. <laughs> um, in response to Dooku's age, Count Dooku, it feels like something I would read on my gaming channel. That's <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, over here, I, I keep things squeaky clean. I know there are a lot of uh, families and children who watch. In response to Dooku's age, Count Dooku was 83 years old in Revenge of the Sith, and Palpatine was 65 at the time of Dooku's death. I love your work, man. What? Keep it up. Thanks, Josh. Hey, his name you is know, Josh. For an 83-year-old person, he flipped, He does front flips pretty well. Mm -hmm. That's the power of the fools. <laughs> Use your hatred. Thoughts on Legacy of the Force novels. Which one was that? Legacy of the Force was with... Is that with the, Luke on the cover? Yeah, it's Luke and Jason and Jaina and maybe even Ben Skywalker. Right. Legacy. Yeah, I am not super well read on that stuff, but I am looking into it because yeah. I think there's something to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I want to see a yeah. series on the Jedi Civil War. It'd be awesome. I want to see a sure. series on the the Mando Civil Wars. For sure, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Either or. Or Open how about seasons, both Django of those? Fett. And then the Jedi Mandalorian Wars. Yeah. Who is older, Cal or Ezra or Grogu Kanan? Uh, Grogu is older. Grogu's as old as Anakin. Um, who's older, Cal or Ezra? Uh, I think... I think Cal is older. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It's not by much either way, right? I think Cal's definitely older. He was 17. Uh, what was it? Th was it five years after? Does Fall oh, chat? Does Fallen Order take place five years or three years after Revenge of the Sith? I think it's five. Hmm. Or no, I think it's three. Whatever, he's 17. I think it's five years after. He's 17 years old because he was 12 when Order 66 ha six happens, which is five years. Yeah, okay, so that would make him 17 years old. So that would make him 12 years old in Revenge of the Sith. And Ezra was how old in Rebels? Ezra is the, is the exact same as Luke Skywalker. Oh, then Cal is older. Cal's older for sure. Yeah, he's older by uh, 12 years, just about. 10 to 12 years. Mm. Right, if he's as old as Luke, if Ezra's as old as Luke, Luke was born, Revenge of the Sith, that'd make him zero, or let's say two years old, if he's two years older, and Cal was 12 years old in Revenge of the Sith, that makes Cal 12, that makes their age gap 10 years. But then again, that also means that, oh, that's because we're, I was thinking of Kanan. For some reason, I was thinking, oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I, yeah. <sighs> what if Grogu gets into death sticks? It's a bad path. Wouldn't be a good, yeah. You want to go home and rethink a lot. What if Grogu yeah. is actually lost to the dark side in the finale and the next season focuses on Mando and a Jedi saving him from himself? A father redeeming his adopted son and a Jedi redeeming a brother. Be pretty cool. Hey, I don't see that happening, though. Yeah, but I'd be pretty... I good. think Grogu will just use the Force um, as he sees fit. And he doesn't really classify things as good or bad, dark or light. Uh, thanks, Colin. A crazy theory. What about The Apprentice? Starkiller comes back somewhere. I think we could see that in... Um,
in the Obi Wan show. Yeah, something if like they that. If they want, like, yeah. Maybe like a failed version. <laughs> and didn't George Lucas say that if Vader had trained Luke under him, right. he would have yeah, been exactly Starkiller. Yeah, he would have been the most powerful Jedi ever. Yeah, Luke's abilities with the Force. But he would have been very emotionally messed up. Yeah, makes sense. It's the Skywalker thing. How about a live-action open season show featuring Django, Jaster, and the true Mandalorians and Death Watch? I would love that. Heck yeah, dude. I would love that. Think there's a good chance Din dies Grogu's new Mando? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Be sad. We're yeah. Gonna, we're be crying. Thanks for all you do. Helps me get through my work shift. I think Boba turns on everyone, spares Mando, but Mando gets it because of the bounty hunter code. Yeah, maybe. But also, their codes are different. Right. A little bit. For some reason, yeah. I see Boba stealing the Darksaber after Moff dies and bringing it to Thrawn. Season 3 brings being Boba versus Mando with Thrawn pulling strings. Um, mm -hmm. Now, nah, you got to have a bigger bad than Boba, I think. I'd be down for yeah. a Grogu story set in hundreds of years after the sequels. Me too. I'd love that. I, I wouldn't would get my... down. I wouldn't get my hopes up for the acolyte. It's being written by Leslie Headland. Headland. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. I'm sorry. Harvey Harvey Weinstein's former assistant. Leslie Headland is an incredible talent. What has she done? I'm actually going to so check Mark out. Mark said something so about Russian dolls. dolls. Yeah, right. Russian dolls is the big show, and I'm actually going to check that out because I was actually just talking to my buddy about this today. Um, Everybody I've talked to, like, you know, behind the scenes and everything, speak very highly of uh, of Leslie Headland. So mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see uh, how this show works. <clears throat> so I don't, I don't really understand what that person was talking about. Here's my thing with all these people directing Star Wars is, you know, do they know Star Wars? You can be a great director, but do you know Star Wars? That's the thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if I you don't have the very important yeah. the, the proper Apparently story she's group a lifelong fan. behind you, yeah, but that doesn't... If you have the proper story group behind you, then, you know... Um, okay, but is anyone who gets a Star Wars job being going to be like, yeah, I'm not really a fan of Star Wars... Well, apparently, no one will and say I, that. I'll have to check on this. So apparently, Leslie had been lobbying to get a Star Wars show for a long, long time. So I, I think she actually is a, a, a pretty big fan. That's great. That's great to hear. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. It's going to be hopeful. Oh, the show's going to be awesome. And, and you know. I'm more excited for that show than. People... Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. There were a lot of people um, that unfortunately went very far as trying to uh you know sp stir up all kinds of drama uh, about the show it's, it's totally unfounded oh i didn't hear about this yeah thanks for all you do thanks buddy i read that one um dustin what if taika waititi movie is a boba fett movie i'm down for it uh revan for the acolyte or would the timing be off uh, timing's off. Timing's off. Way off. Yeah, yeah. Hey Theory, just want to say I love your content and you, and, and you help a lot with finding something to watch while I'm doing schoolwork. I love you, man. I love you too. Thanks, dude. Good luck with the schoolwork. Uh, kill it, bro. The Dark Troopers from the tragedy look like the same droids uh, that Thrawn is combating against in that one episode of The Rebels. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too, but I think those would have... Th they were bigger. They were more broad-shouldered and just... um. They'd be more like Phase 3, I feel like, Dark Troopers. Which makes Thrawn even more freaky. In, in combat. I want to see oh, them we're in gonna, combat yeah, for sure. Uh, 28 hours, we're going to see them. 27 hours and 56 minutes. I'm counting. I want to see Leia as a Jedi more. Yeah, me too. Ahsoka cannot die because Filoni said Rebels finale was after Mando episode 5, and how would Thrawn and Ezra not fight? 
How would Thrawn and Ezra not fight? Because they need each other. Loney said Rebels Look. finale was after Mando episode 5. He didn't say that. Whoever wrote that comment, he didn't say it. He didn't say it? No. I didn't hear he him saying that alluded, or not saying it. He alluded to the possibility of the ending of the epilogue happening after this season of The Mandalorian, for sure. And I think it's fair to say that that could be true. But I don't know that A... The, this person is claiming that he said it for sure. That's not true. And also, this person is saying that this means that what? Baby Yoda won't die? Thanks, Ramon. Or what? Either way, it makes no sense to me. Bo, Mando plus Boba Fett defeat Moff. Boba saves Bo in the battle. Bo learns his lineage plus offers the Darksaber to Boba. Boba declines by saying, I'm just a simple man trying to wake me up through the galaxy. Uh, could Ezra be Snoke? Love from New Zealand. Hey, I love you back. <laughs> hey, that's that guy again. Maybe. Could Ezra be Snoke? I love it. Ahsoka and Luke. Uh, no, not maybe. Ahsoka and Luke need to meet so he can tell Luke how bad Anakin was. Bad A Anakin was. Kenobi live action flashback scene. Yeah, I would love that. Them just sitting like the Grogu fire pit scene. With Din. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Ahsoka sitting there with R2, Luke, and they're just talking It'll about Anakin. Very, ho very wholesome. And yeah, everything. Very, very wholesome. Mm -hmm. I could see Din dying and Grogu going full fit of Vader rage and killing Moff. <laughs> like Super Saiyan. Uh, Boba gets him out of there and they run into Mace down the line. That'd be cool. That'd Little be Grogu, cool. Super Saiyan. Ah! Moff Gideon is an Inquisitor, possibly? Yeah, I could feel that maybe. Bro, I just want to see Grogu snap up that ball knob and throw it around the room like a f phantasm ball and kill everyone. Like, uh, oh, like X Men, Magneto. like uh, Magneto. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so <sighs> when a Jedi shows up, Mando is supposed to leave him. How will they stick together? Mando, Grogu, Jedi team up going forward. Speculate, please. So here's the speculation it won't matter when, it, when Din Djarin's dead. Oh. How about that? Do you think there's a chance Din place. dies and Mandalorian transitions into the Boba show? I don't think so. I think he could I die, think but chance. yeah. I but think there's a chance. I love your channel. I read Revan, Deceived, Master and Apprentice, Maul Shadow Hunter. What books would you recommend and why? Thanks. I'm dude, every time someone says that, I say the Plagueis book. Hell yeah. It's, it's just like I the best I one. think it's the best book ever for Star Wars. I just think it it's might so be cool. like the best Star Wars book ever for sure. That's where it's, I rank it. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, if you've never read it, like come on. And then man. Dooku Jedi Lost and Master Apprentice are also fun. I would say I would yep. say um Plagueis, Dooku Jedi Lost are definitely a top for me. Wonder where Sabine is nowadays. Maybe we'll see her. I want to see a new scene where Leia and Luke learn about Padme. Right. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, she says the whole thing about I remember my mother. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird, maybe right? Maybe she just like sees how? flashbacks or something. I don't well, know. maybe it's like a force bond thing. Yeah, right? maybe. She's got like the, the whole psychometry thing. The Mando finale comes out on the 18th, the exact fifth anniversary of The Force Awakens. How fitting would it be to have Luke as a cliffhanger with the real Luke this time? Would be cool. You guys have heard me for years. I just want to see Luke back in action and badder than ever. Good evening, Theory and Josh. Enjoying the stream. This last episode better be 12 hours long. I need more Star Wars. Yeah, no, me too. It is if you just what put up, it on repeat for 12 hours. Uh, Theory Quinlan Voss answers the call. There is The show is a Western at its core, and this would allow for some Lone Ranger, the Searchers vibes in Season 3. It's true. Dude, Quinlan Voss better be played by a Native American. I'm just saying. I would like, love for Quinlan. I would love for Quinlan to show up. For real. Yeah. Yeah. He has similar powers to uh, Ezra, actually, with the animal stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool, man. Thoughts on Force Sensitive Din? I don't want it. I know Josh I does. I love it. Let's go. Let's get George Lucas to direct something. That'd be great. An episode of Obi Wan or Vader show. Something before he passes. Shout out to modesto.ca, home of the creator. He needs to direct something. I would love to see him direct something of the Kenobi show. I mean, those are his legendary yeah. characters. Agreed. Jedi yeah, it would be great to see him do something like that or be involved in something as he rode off into the sunset. Yeah. Jedi Master Claren Beck. Um, oh, um, 
Ahmed Best's character? The saber hand the sabered hand will show up and slaughter all the Imperials and take Grogu to run to the Jedi Temple challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Hey, Theory, I don't have enough money to join the Patreon, but I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. Much love from New York. Hey, much love, man. Um, dude, you don't need to join anything. Just just watch the content and, and have fun. I think Gideon and Thrawn never actually met or contacted each other. I think they have. Thoughts on Marvel yeah. and IDW, SW vs. Legends comics? What? Good stuff all over. What's Good IDW? Over. IDW Star Wars. I assume he's talking about like the different publishers hmm. that have touched Star Wars stuff. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, there's 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 been good stuff uh, done under all of the different. Publishers. I love Dark Horse, man. The Dark Horse horse stuff was great. There was some awesome Dark Horse stuff. You know. Think we'll so, get yeah. Anakin Ghost in the Ahsoka show? Probably not. I think they're saving Annie for Kenobi. You think yeah. Ahsoka could could a beer? could appear in the Kenobi series. Yep. I think she's going to appear and then he's going to fly off and maybe deal with Vader. Set up on my couch watching this podcast as if it's the finale itself. Love the podcast, guys. Thanks for taking the time to make our lives better. Yo, we love you, Justin. Thanks, dude. Yeah, man, that's cool. Chill that's on your awesome. couch. Vibes. Hey, homie, I've watched you since middle school and I'm now in my first year of college. Thank you for the journey and I can't wait to see what's next. Right on, bro. Good luck in college. Bye kill it awesome, yeah. i love the seismic charges scene it's one of my favorites the seismic charge scene looks like that would happen if jabba took a poop <laughs> <laughs> just realize that mando has a spear pedro pascal did a great job as oberon martel who was a spear user in and this time he has a helmet do you think yeah, like we'll get his eyes smooshed yeah right do you think we'll get some epic spear fighting what if he takes his helmet off later and then he gets his eyes smooshed <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. He did Vito! Think, they did say Game of Thrones. No. Vito! What's Boba Vito will doing? die and I'll be alright. Lol. Team Din. Yeah, right. Dude. Vito, what the hell, bro? Yeah, shut your mouth, Vito. Josh, do you think Din will... God damn it. I think Din will what? Yeah, I'm not reading inappropriate stuff. <laughs> yeah, well then, yeah, I probably definitely do. It's never explained why Yoda, Yoda chose Dagobah to escape to. Uh, should check out Samuel Kim music on YouTube combines different so bro I've been working with Samuel Kim for like the last several months he's composing something right now for uh, yeah he's an amazing guy and he's also going to be composing Vader episode 2 whenever we do it nice um, Basilisk War Droid in season 3 what would you think of Jason Momoa as Quinlan Voss I've seen some fan photoshop it looks pretty good yeah I'd be down for that it'd be cool I'd be in for it well, chat, I think this is the end. Uh, Three-hour stream. Uh, as always, we love doing these. This is the second one of the week. Um, maybe we could do a Monday and a Wednesday show. Dude, we could. We definitely could, especially as more and more of this crazy stuff comes out. Yeah, we'll have to. That's we can't just cover everything sure. in one. Yeah, especially, like, I mean, I'm sure there'll be many weeks when we double up. You know what I mean? Like, you know, for big episodes and things yeah. like that as well, so... Yeah, maybe um, next week we'll have to double up too. Yeah, dude, you never know. I'm interested to see what they're going to do, man. This is crazy. I, we're all very excited. We're going to go through it together, and we're going to talk a lot about it. So regardless, the Monday episode is going to be pretty lit next week. It's going to be insane, so, yeah. Yeah, you and, definitely um, want to come through. Tomorrow night, the watch party, I expect to see like 100,000 of you there, okay? <laughs> yeah, at least. At least. Maybe 100. 50 um yeah okay i love you guys we we appreciate you so much thank you for um joining in on this podcast as always you know you're the ones who are carrying the show and we can't wait to do more so thank you thank you thank you um we'll catch thank you, you guys. tomorrow night uh we will do another little quick connection uh once the episode ends and all you guys will see that during my watch party and he'll be having a uh a live stream as as well for himself so um, we hope to see you guys there. We love you. We will catch you tomorrow, and you will catch me in like an hour where I'm going to play the next installment, part two, for the Bounty Hunter game. So see you guys in a little bit. Sub to Thanks, Den yeah. of Nerds. Sub to me.